It's one week of Black Friday on ProWrestlingTees.com slash 616 Entertainment. Save 20% on any 616 merchandise of your choosing. If you've been waiting for the right time to pick up a shirt, it doesn't get any better than this. Don't miss out. This video is also brought to you in part by the Patreon producers, without whom content like this would not be possible. Dan Dans, welcome to Mortal Kombat Monday. My name is Ian, and this is the first installment of the Mortal Kombat Armageddon Conquest Mode. Here's the plan. Over the course of Mortal Kombat Monday, I am going to play through the entire Conquest Mode of Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I'm not going to do all of these episodes in a row, because it's going to take a good handful of episodes to get through, and I want to sprinkle in some variety. So, this is part one, and we'll play for probably half hour to an hour, and then we'll pick up from there. But I need to know from you guys in the comments, is this something that you want to see continue? Do you want to see me play through the full conquest mode? You gotta let me know. You know what I'm saying? Right here, we got some storytelling taking place. You know what I'm saying? That's Argus, and across from him, I believe, is Delia. And Delia's outfit, let me tell you something, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I don't know how she sees walking around with that deal hanging over her eyes, but, you know, I know what I'm seeing with her deals hanging out of that thing that I guess you can call a shirt. How you doing? <laughs> Argus over here looks like he's prepared to rob a bank with all that fucking armor plating on him. But maybe that's what Delia's outfit is for. She... All the attention goes to her. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's even thinking about Argus. He can get in and do the dirty work while she's doing the distractions. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> oh boy. Here's where Dagon and Taven are stashed inside of their little pods. And here's our big old dragon friend. If you guys have never played through the conquest mode of Mortal Kombat Armageddon... I mean, I'm not going to tell you to not watch this. <laughs> I definitely want you to watch as the weeks go by, but I also recommend that you play it on your own because it's a lot of fun. This is the kind of thing that I was hoping Mortal Kombat 11 was going to have. You know, I really like the way the Mortal Kombat story modes have unfolded as the games have gone on to where it's basically a movie and then they drop us into the arcade fighting portion. But I also love me... Uh, third person action RPG you know what I'm saying and Mortal Kombat Armageddon delivers that in spades so we're getting more groundwork laid here as far as the story goes we just woke up because all sorts of shit's going wrong you know what I'm saying and we're going to be sent on a quest to try and keep Armageddon from happening spoilers it, it kind of happens anyway <laughs> But it also kind of doesn't. I don't know. That was a really weird thing. It was definitely weird how this, uh, the angle of this played out. So our big boy friend Orin was like, walk into my dragon portal. And thus level one will begin. <laughs> I guess I could have fast forwarded. That's basically what he was going to tell us. But here we go. About to get dropped into our first setting. And let me tell you something. This looks pretty fucking good. This was a game that came out late, late, late into the PlayStation 2's life cycle. PlayStation 3 was out by the time this came out. But look at this. This is looking pretty fucking good. How do we open these deals? Boom. Just kick it. So we got 100 coins. I started a new profile. Let me tell you. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Got the map. Take a look at the map this with map the select button. To my father's temple. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't really remember how to play this game. <laughs> which is a very common thing with me. Uh, but I'm going to get the hang of it pretty quickly. There are some puzzles and shit in this in this mode that are going to trip me up. This is an unlockable that we just found. We found a Cobra's Glove. We can access it with L2. See, these are all sorts of conquest relics that we can find. There's a lot of them. My controller was just moving him without me. Hopefully that's not going to continue. What's this? Bro. Who's stashing bags of money inside of the goddamn tree stumps? I mean, I'm I'm, I guess I'm glad that they did it, because it worked out for me. 
Here we go. Uh, th- this game, okay, here, here's the deal. The environments look good for a PS2 game, but one thing that's gotten way better with, like, third-person action RPGs as the years have gone on is look how twitchy he fucking is. Everywhere we move, he's flying all over the place. That has gotten way better. What's that, Kira's blade? Kira's knife. Ooh, look at that hidden bullshit. That bug right there, you step on him, what happens? We get some shit to fall out of the sky. And we just unlock Kira's alternate costume. God damn, I love this mode. I love this game. Mortal Kombat Armageddon gets some guff. Got an unlockable music track here for Motor Combat. Which, if you want to see me play some Motor Combat eventually on Mortal Kombat Monday, all you gotta let me do... Let's try that again. Take two. All you gotta do is let me know. What is this? Oh boy, that's the big one! Create a fighter which has never appeared before or since Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Just unlock some pieces. Yeah, if you guys want to see me play Motor Combat, you just gotta let me know in the comments. That's what I was trying to say before I had a fucking stroke. I'm Cobra. No one crosses this bridge. No one. We shall see. Cobra, I just got the signal from Kira, goodness gracious. How you doing? Don't you love that? Cobra is the ultimate jobber, the ultimate curtain jerker. He is the guy that we are going to fight first in conquest mode. And you know what? Fuck Cobra. Boom. What's up? What's up now? Guess who doesn't remember how to do any of Taven's moves? That would be me. Let's try down forward square. Oh, boom! Right there. We got one. How do we throw? Is it L1? No, L1 gives us a big old knife. I'm okay with that. How do I do any of his other moves? Boom! There we go! Look at that three-piece and a soda. Shout out to fucking Jorge Masvidal. Got a jump kick for you deeds. Now, as Conquest Mode rolls on, the fights get harder. So, Cobra's a guy that we can basically head off and beat the shit out of early. But as time goes on, it will become more difficult. Boom! Throw him up in the air. How do I do some of my other moves? Let's try four backward circle. Nope. How do I do a grab? <laughs> like always, if you couldn't tell, three piece in a soda. If you couldn't tell, zero practice before I started recording. Humiliated by his defeat and realizing that Kira had abandoned him, Cobra shouted, Make no mistake, stranger! You will feel the bite of the black dragon soon enough as he escaped into the jungle. So basically, his girlfriend abandoned him, I beat the shit out of him, and he ran away like a puss-puss. That's what happened to Cobra. And he was never heard from again. <laughs> Boom. Kira's gone. We are going on our mighty way. Look at this fucking bridge, dude. You think this is a good fishing spot? There's a lot of current going on there. I don't know what the fuck could possibly survive. Bro! That was Sector, bro. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like Vince Russo. <laughs> that was some Russo booking, though. That made perfect sense in Russo's mind. Bro, we have Sector show up and he disappears. Vince, what's the payoff? What's a payoff? Moving on. <laughs> well, right chose Brewery Tune. Dude, we're unlocking shit left and right. Here's the deal. So there's our checkpoint, but what's going on over here? That's what I want to know. The way is blocked. Okay, god damn it. So we have to go straight for the checkpoint. I thought maybe there'd be some wacky shit over there. David, place your hand on the monolith. Father? What's going on here? <laughs> See, there's our brother back there, and if you couldn't tell, he's a dick. <laughs> he's got the appearance of an asshole. It's because he is. Where am I? This is like a tutorial mode, this I think. This is a training area. Yeah. Father, is that you? No, Taven. I am merely a reflection of your father. My purpose is to train you for your coming challenge. Would you tell me what this is all about? 
You will find your answers within the temple. This monolith was created to help you hone your fighting skills. There are others like it scattered throughout the realms. Blah, blah, blah. You must first learn to handle yourself in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Dude, you are... Oh, here we go. So, like, they're training us on how to do the third-person, like, action-style combat. And I think I forgot... Here we go. Square, square, triangle. I forgot that there's no, like, lock-on system. I mean, I mean, as far as I remember, there's not. And it would kind of be helpful if there was. Evading your opponent's attack is just as important as dealing your own deadly strikes. R2 and square. R2 and X. Act. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, so we gotta let him knock us down. Go ahead. Try again, pal. Got it. So R2 and square and R2 and X. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I ever use that when I play through this game. While striking at your foes can inflict great damage, grabbing an enemy can serve many purposes. So circle is how you grab a jabron. And then you can press circle or square to jam them around. Or triangle. Hold on, let me see. Ooh, I like that one. It's kind of like the Jack's gotcha. You will meet many foes of great power along your journey. Test your might in mortal combat. Okay. Who's that? Is that, um, Jarek? <laughs> it is Jarek. Come here, Jabroni Jarek. Can we link some combo action to our special moves? Sons of bitch! Damn! Okay. He's a little harder than Cobra, but I think anybody would be harder than Cobra. Jabroni Jarek, you're pissing me off. And here, guys, I'm gonna get better. <laughs> I know I'm playing like dog's dick right now, but I'll get better. Three piece in a soda. I'm gonna call it that every time. I can't help it. We are not losing a round to you. Oh, shit in my ass. There we go. <laughs> I was really nervous he was gonna get the better of us. Why is he dressed like a tree? You know what I'm saying? Jarek looks like he's about to go deer hunting and he doesn't want anybody to see him. Fireball. We need to learn some new shit. What are some more moves? Is there a move list? There is. How about it? Okay. We got down forward square, up down X, forward forward triangle, back down square. Let's try some... Ah, shit. Boom! How about it? There we go. A little stomp action, a little ground pound. It said I had an R1 move. It's just that? That's my balls. That's nothing special. How- Oh, you bitch ass! Hit him with that clubbing downward blow. As it stands right now, we got a record of 2-0 and inside of one-on-one -on -one combat. Give me my prize. <laughs> what do we got? Ground pound. I thought we had... Oh, that's a super move for the third person combat. Gotcha. Demonstrate it. Demonstrate it, Taven. How you doing? Use the ground pound you have just acquired to demolish your enemies. Alright. Here we go. Boom! How about it? Who else wants that? <laughs> I'm trying to just like spam uppercuts. Because it's fun. You'll be shown no mercy from your enemies. Should you be defeated, show them none. Oh, this is how we're going to learn how to do fatalities. Okay. That's what I was trying to do earlier. So he's dazed, and now how do I do a fatality? Oh, it's just one button. Beautimus. Okay, how about you? You fucked up. Oh, uppercut the head right off. Dude, I love this fucking game. Okay, we did square and triangle. How about X? Rip him in two. Come here, pal. 
throw him across the room. Let's see what Circle does. Damn. Ripped his heart out, threw it across the room. You are doing very well, Taven. Now use what you learned, blah, 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 blah. Okay. After this, we're going to be out of tutorial mode. I hope you guys are not bored with this so far. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Tutorials are just part of it. That's part of the shit. That was everyone? Damn. I beat their bitch asses pretty quick. I'm not reading anymore. I'm tired of this. <laughs> there comes a time when enough is enough. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We learned lots of lessons from the mystery obelisk. Did I inside the monolith? How was that possible? Maybe father will explain when I find him in the temple. I gotta tell you, Taven is astoundingly calm. Who opened this goddamn door? We both know for a fact it was closed earlier. Here we go. Now this is where shit gets a little fucky. I think this is telling us to ground pound. There we go. So we unlocked a, a gimmick this over here. Interesting. Thousand coins, beautiful. Okay, so now we have to avoid all of these shits. And it's harder than it seems. Okay, so let's study the pattern. Three, two. There we go. So there are patterns we should learn. One, two, three, four. So that one's pretty constant. R2 and square, is that a forward jump or a backward jump? Let's try it. We did it. Okay. Did it, did it, did it. Get some more money over here. Did we get it? No, we didn't. God damn it. Give me my money. What's this? Cage's picture. Fantastic. Okay, this one's another 3 2. <laughs> That's scary. I want that money. Here we go. <laughs> We leave no cash behind, you understand? Look at that. We're getting money hand over fist. I imagine there's gonna be a bunch of jabronis in here. You know it. These look like some black dragon douchebags. And they will all fall by my hand. Check this shit out. What you know about the ground pound, dog? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, you just landed a punch on me and you are gonna live. Now nah, you're not gonna live to regret it. I changed my mind. Get the fuck out of here. All right, we need more boys. That meter on the right, that skull meter, goes up when I kill people, and we need to fill that meter with murder before we're allowed to leave. Why do they burn up? Ooh, there's money in there. Why do they burn up after I strike them? I don't know, but that's just part of it. Now another thing you may or may not have noticed is up in the left hand corner, I have a health meter and the blue meter is obviously, it's for like my abilities. Now if I spam my ground pound and whatnot too much, I'm not going to have any more to use. Thank god we unlocked Jarek's half vest. I can't wait to wear that to my next job interview. <laughs> Boom. Give me that cash, give me that paper. Three spin kicks is a little a little pathetic to knock that thing down. I'll tell you what, JCVD could have done it in one. Now we picked up fucking Mjolnir. <laughs> and we're about to bash some goddamn skulls with it. Check this out. Goodbye. Goodbye. These guys don't stand a chance in hell. Talk about the ground pound. Just because I got the hammer doesn't mean it's the only thing I can do use. Oh, his head came off! What are you, nuts? Dude, the heads are coming off left and right. Check this out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Shit ass. <laughs> I'm missing shit left and right. Oh, dude. If I hit him twice, their torso flies, too. You know what I was thinking? About fuck you and fuck you. <laughs> you bunch of fucking cockroaches. You ain't shit. You understand? None of you. You were sent here to die, 
by a man who doesn't give a fuck about any of you. Gotta be honest with you, neither do I. <laughs> you fight well. I don't know who you are, but there is always room in the Black Dragon Clan for another ruthless warrior. How does he have his mask on if I just picked it up off the fucking ground? What does he have an extra and he just dropped it? Clumsy fuck. Don't forget, while we wait for this loading screen, you can watch the History of Mortal Kombat Part 6 box office annihilation that premiered last week, if I air these in order, which I don't know if I will. <laughs> but that 40 plus minute documentary on the Mortal Kombat movies is there for you to watch and enjoy. And if you don't enjoy it, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I worked really hard on that. And here's the thing that none of you guys know. Uh, the History of Mortal Kombat Part 6, which I was just talking about, um, it's just over 40 minutes long. I think it's 41 minutes. <sighs> you guys have no idea how long that took for me to put together and write and edit. And I finally got it done. I finished it. And then I realized that I had been putting off downloading the new Mac OS for like months at a time. I was like, God damn it. Okay, here's the deal. I will download the new uh, operating system, the update. I think it's called Catalina. And hopefully when I export the video to upload it, the new OS should help it move faster. That was my thought process, which obviously I'm a dumb fucking idiot. You know? But that was my thought process. So, I upgrade my, uh, my OS... And doing that broke one of my main source files and undid like four hours worth of work. And I had to do it all over again. So that was fun. I didn't know he had one here in Earthrealm. I'm sure he'll explain everything once I locate him in the main chamber. Taven, you good natured motherfucker. People are trying to kill you. There's blades flying out of nowhere. People are hiding bags of money in tree stumps. And he's just like, well, I'm going to just find my dad and he'll have all the answers. <laughs> Must be nice, pal. <laughs> well, you got cash for me? Nope. You got an outfit for another man who's not me. There's some cash. How you doing? Now it was all worth it. Now finding Cabal's or Kung Lao's stinky old outfit, now it was all worth it. Ooh, you see that hidden shit? Look straight ahead. They hide the prize until you get close to it. I you don't. Tell me what's up. What's going on? What are these images supposed to represent? That looks like Mother having one of her visions. And this must be Father speaking with the Elder Gods. These sleeping figures might be my brother and I. How long was I unconscious? And what's this? It appears as if my brother and I are attacking some demon. I have no memory of that. His name is Blaze. What does all this mean? Where is everyone? It doesn't seem like anyone's worshipped here in ages. Oh boy. I, where is everyone? What's going on here? How about, why is there a spider the size of a fucking football next to my goddamn leg? That's what I'd be questioning. And is it venomous? Good lord. Taven's either dumb as fuck or he's got balls of steel. Maybe both. I haven't decided yet. How about that spin kick? Edson Barboza. How you doing? What do you think about this uppercut? Ooh, what's that? You guys have to hold on. I found some cool shit. Darius's keys. Keys to what? Goodbye, 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 goodbye. <laughs> Finish who? This guy? Alright, don't mind if I do. Now, if that does not discourage the rest of these guys from fucking with me, then they're just out of their minds. If I was in a fight with somebody on the street, which hopefully that doesn't happen anytime soon, you know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. I can't be getting in fights on the street. <laughs> And the guy picked up one of my friends and ripped his heart out. I think I would just tell the guy, like, hey, man, you know, uh, it is what it is. I hope you have a good day. <laughs> Red-clad 
warriors seem to know who I am. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the guy stood in front of me too long. I didn't appreciate it. All right, so we got to not get burned up. Shit in my ass. I thought maybe if I stood on the side, we'd be able to walk past it. That you are dead graphic was pretty fucking cheesy looking. <laughs> All right, good lord, could you start me any closer to the fucking fire? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Did it. Oh, oh no! Okay, fuck dude. Fuck that money. Was not enough money to risk. Here we go. Oh, god damn it, this is some Mortal Kombat mythology shit all over again. That was pretty close. Here we go. You know what's funny? <gasps> wow. Okay, let's get the pattern. One, two, three. <laughs> two, three, four. I tried to go and it just stopped me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's scary. What was that, a full health deal? Here we go, here we go. Are we fighting in this room or what? We are fighting. Who wants it? Tell you what, you? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Got enough of your bullshit. Oh no, Dan Ans, this is scary. Um, the last time I played Mortal Kombat Armageddon, I was recording for the History of Mortal Kombat Part 3 or whatever it was about a year ago. And in this room, I remember the game freezing twice. Let's pray to fucking God that doesn't happen, because I don't feel like dealing with that, to be honest with you. Talk about uppercuts. Talk about- oh, I forgot I could do ground pound. <gasps> Fuck, I ruined my fatality chance with that guy. I really wanted to rip his head off. Look, you guys are getting way too cute with all this bullshit. Moloch's balls. <laughs> there we go. Give me that cash. What do you got? Ermax alternate costume is looking pretty cool. Striker's radio. He can call somebody who gives a shit. <laughs> oh, that's bogus. When am I going to stop hurting? This is taking a long... Stop hurting! Jesus Christ! That did so much damage. I'm calling the fucking cops. Oh, great. Now more of these deals. Alright, pattern. One. Okay. Okay, I think it's one. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Okay, let's go. I hate this shit. <laughs> <laughs> two, one, two, one, two, here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, here we go. <gasps> Shit in my ass! Oh my god! I don't know how I survived that. Sue Howe's watch, man, he's fucking, he's balling out of control. We unlock meat! How you doing? <laughs> Guys, tune in next week for Mortal Kombat Monday. I'm not wrapping the show right now. I'm just saying. Tune in next week for Mortal Kombat Monday for a great episode. The first ever episode of Clueless Combat, which features a great joke about meat. <laughs> I can't wait to share Clueless Combat with you guys. I hope you have a really good time with it. This first episode is going to star my buddy No Taxes Nigel Bravo. Who also has a great joke about Reptile. That wasn't Reptile, but the invisibility reminded me of him. <laughs> That's a big hand, dude. That looks like Andre the Giant's hand, or Michael Jordan's hand. You know how you go to, like, sports museums and they have that big fucking handprint? Hold on a second. I just said, you know how you go to sports museums and they have... What the fuck is a sports museum? I've never been to a sports museum. What am I talking about? 
What is their purpose? Oh, what a you great day. <laughs> fire spot created by your mother. Use the items we have given you to defeat him. The victor will not only succeed me as protector of Adenia, but he will receive a gift worthy of a god. Go now, and may the elder gods watch over you. Ooh, goodness. Reveal yourself. Sector to warship. Rendezvous for immediate evac. Sector just blasted us from behind. I gotta give him points. We didn't know he was there. I mean, we knew he was there because the camera showed us he was there. But Taven's stupid ass didn't know he was there. And now he's suspended in the sky like some jabron. The prisoner is awake. Good. Now I can get the information I need. Ugh. What are you? I will ask the questions. I need to know what you learned from the altar in the temple. What message did you receive? You were standing right there, Sector. Shouldn't you have, like, cybernetically enhanced hearing with your bullshit mask thing? You were right there. <laughs> they weren't speaking another language. Headmaster Sector, the ship is being attacked. Incoming fighters. Special forces. That is not Ronda Rousey's voice. Ronda Rousey wasn't even famous when this came out. That was about, what, five years away? If you did not pick up the Easter egg there, K0NN1H5 is a stylized spelling of Shinnok backwards. Now I do remember what's about to happen here. We have to get to a certain point within a certain time limit. And uh, I don't want to fuck the time limit up, so we might skip some things. I must get up this warship before it's destroyed. But I don't want to have to redo it, you know? So, we got Cyrax's deal. Estimated time to detonation. What, what the fuck? Why can't I get out? Do I have to break all this shit? Why can't I get out? Is it this thing? Oh, thank God, Taven's a fucking hacker, too. Great. Ooh, we unlocking some shit. What the fuck is that? He was hiding Kung Lao's hat. We have to find the key, son of a fucking bitch. Son of a fucking bitch. Is it in this one? Nope, son of a fucking bitch. Is it... Okay, great. We Oh, it's a health upgrade. Cool. That's all, that's all well and good. We have to get out of here. Key card. Boom. Okay. Fuck you guys. Time to leave. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't on the last guy we searched. Uppercut. Attack. Toss. Gotcha. So, get these guys out here. Chop them up. You know what I'm saying? Pop them up into the sky. There's, and there's no time to dilly-dally. We can't be running around in circles. We gotta uppercut each and every one of these jabronis into the sky as fast as possible. Grab the cash while we're at it. <laughs> come on, come on. You guys need to spawn faster so I can kill you faster. I'd love to ask these questions even though... I, I know it's stupid and, like, arbitrary, but, like... In this world, in Taven's world... What exactly is opening the doors? You know what I mean? Like, we know that we have to spill a certain amount of blood to get the door open, but why does that cause the door to open in his world? Super move, fireball, how you doing? How do we do it? R1 and square, I'm gonna guess. That is sick. I love a good projectile. I don't know how to do it. It's L1 in square, not R1. Gotcha. Okay, it seems like... Oh, it's an insta-kill, but... Um, it takes a lot of juice <laughs> to do that move. Okay, can I just throw you guys and get the meter up? I can. Okay. Because we, uh, we're not exactly... Set Jesus Christ on a crutch! 
We're not setting the fucking world on fire here with our time. Come here. Come here for the love of fuck's sake. Good. Give me the deal. Open the goddamn door. Mr. fucking... What's his... iRobot? Mr. Robot? What's the deal? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. It's lightsaber time. Shit! See, I don't know if we're if we're making good enough time to get the fuck out of here. Look, 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 look. Fucking lightsabers for everybody. Ooh, X is the way to go. Big broad strokes. Murder everybody. <laughs> Everybody's gotta die. Everybody run to me so you can die as quick as possible. Cause I gotta get the fuck out of here. Hurry, hurry! Hurry to your deaths! Shit, shit, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Good, good, dead. Open the door. Oh, you fuckers taunting me with this bullshit. Is that the one? Is that the door? Cool, get me out of here. If we have to fight more fuckers, there's absolutely no way in hell. Can I just... Fuck. We're fucked. Fuck you! Shit ass! Get me out of here. Get me out of here! Sonya's ID. Fantastic. Good. <gasps> we made it! First try, and now it's time to fight bitch ass Sector. He's not bitch ass. I, I actually like Sector quite a bit. When I was a kid, my favorite cyber ninja was Cyrax. My brother was a big Sector fan. I have to find some way out of this ship and back to the portal. You are not leaving until I get all the information I need, even if I have to beat it out of you. Fight! That was a pretty oh, spicy Lord. fight stance Fight. from Sector there. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Guess who forgot all of his super moves? That would be, uh, that'd be me. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Fireball. Here we go. Three piece Minnesota. Knock him up into the goddamn sky. I gotta practice my combo still, though. Dude, the distance that the three piece Minnesota covers, you can nail somebody with that and trap them from like three quarters of the screen away. That animation of Sector getting up was fucking sick. Ground pound. How about it? You know what? You want to take out your fucking lightsabers? Check this shit out. I got one too. Shit. <laughs> it's not working at all. How do you like that? Huh? Huh? God damn. Goodbye. Put him away with the big fucking sword slash uppercut. Yeah, you better save that data. <laughs> Finally, I found a way out of the warship. I'll have to get back to the portal and return to the cave. Maybe Orin has some idea who these strange warriors are. I can't help but wonder if my brother Dagon has encountered the same foes I have. Dagon ain't your friend, pal. <laughs> He's got a mission of his own, and it's not exactly to be your best buddy anymore. Welcome back, Dave. You were away quite a long time. I was ambushed. More than once. By my father's holy men? No. His followers apparently abandoned the temple long ago. But how fucking cool is Orin? This is not right. I love it. Something is amiss. Did you learn more about the quest? Where is the weapon your father left you? There was no weapon. I'm assuming it was stolen long ago. As for the quest, apparently it's a race to combat a fire spawn named Blaze. Whoever defeats him will succeed Father as protector of Adenia. Yes, Blaze. He is the watcher who sounded the call to awaken you. But how can defeating him in battle grant you the title of protector? Your mother was mortal. You are only a half god. Transforming you into a full god would require. Require what? What else did you learn? 
I must travel to the north. What is Oren keeping from us? That's what I want to know. And I legitimately mean that because I don't remember. <laughs> I've got a bad memory. Oren, open up one of those dragon portals for us again. Because we have some more shit to find out. Dan Ans, are you enjoying this episode of Mortal Kombat Monday? Do you like the Let's Play style? Do you want to see me continue playing Mortal Kombat Armageddon's Conquest mode? You guys gotta let me know. I'm gonna go forward based on your feedback. If we hit a point where you guys aren't enjoying this very much, I'll move on. I'll, pl I'll play a different game. But I would love to see this through. And I feel like you guys would like to see it, so stay in touch with me and let me know. Let's break all these deals down. Pick up as, mu pick up as much cash as possible. Boom! How you doing with that round kick? What are you guys up to? Pretty sure you're up to dying. Oh! Blow him to pieces! You like the snow? I got news for you, pal. There's other shit out there. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? How many times am I going to ask myself that in one video? Triple. Quadruple uppercuts for your deeds. How about a ground pal? You know what I'm saying? You guys ever see the Dark Knight? Joker's like, how about a magic trick? What if it was like, how about a ground pal? <laughs> Boom! I don't. That should... Oh, really? You're not done? Get the fuck out of here. You want to give me some more shit, man? I'll take it. Johnny Cage's tuxedo. Fantastic. I can't wait to never use that. We've got a uh, we've got health and magic upgrades in all of these things here and we don't want to miss them. Check this out. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh yeah. You know how excited I was to show that to you guys. <laughs> Not that you don't know that you can do that. I'm sure a lot of you do know, but... Man, when there's spikes around in a game, I need someone to get stuck on the spikes. I'm a simple man, and I enjoy spike spots. <laughs> What's going on here? Give me some news. It's the abominable snow dick. <laughs> that was a really poor joke, and I apologize. It was really bad. I'm so I'm so upset at myself for saying the abominable snow dick, and then I laughed to try to sell it, but it just wasn't good. It didn't work. Okay, this guy, pretty strong fella. How much does this fella weigh? <laughs> If anybody knows what I'm referencing, you can leave a comment. <laughs> and Dan Dan, speaking of all this... Uh, oh, goodness gracious. Speaking of all this audience participation with comments and stuff like that, uh, I also have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. And if you guys would like to participate and sign up over there at any level, feel free to do so. You don't have to. None of my videos have ever been locked behind paywalls. I have no plans to do that. I think that's bullshit. It's simply there if you guys would like to participate. I'd be happy to have you over there on Patreon. But you do... Fuck my ass. You do as you see fit. The snow beast has been taken care of. We're unlocking new shit. Am I going to get anything fancy by stepping on these body parts? You never know how they hide secrets in these games. Ashra looking fine as hell. Crush all the body parts and we might just unlock something. Nope, guess not. But we've reached a new checkpoint. Another snow beast! Damn it to hell! They take a long time to fight, so I'm not stoked about having to take on another one. Or is there a guy here that's about to save the day? 
There it is. Oh, it's not a guy. It's Sonya Blade. How you doing? I'm Sonya Blade of the Earth Realm Special Forces. You've got some explaining to do. What are the Takunin up to? Why do you assume I have information? You have some connection with Sektor. He placed a homing device on you that I've been tracking since you teleported away from the Takunin warship. Don't you love how different the character designs are today compared to back then? Why is Sonya's thong pulled up over her hip bones? What is the purpose for that? <laughs> it's so ridiculous and so cheesy. I think anybody should be able to design characters however the fuck they want. If they want to make them over-sexualized, go ahead. I don't care. If you want to not do that, go ahead. I don't care. But... It's just, it's funny to look at. <laughs> you can't say that it's not. Round one, fight. Oh man, Sony just blocked everything I have. We are 4-0 oh in one-on-one -on -one combat. Combat? Let's try that again, take two. We are 4-0 oh in one-on-one -on -one combat, and I don't feel like that's about to change. Ow! <laughs> Shit. Okay, Sony is tricky dicky. Fireball. Three piece in a soda. Get fucked. Whoop. I don't. Check out this ground pound. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the titty physics in this game, too. They don't really do that as much anymore, either. Like, every move the women make in these games, the booby boobies all over the place. Again, I don't have a problem with it. Anybody should be able to design whatever they want, but it is ridiculous. <laughs> Putting her away in style. She thought she was hot shit in round one. Round two, not so much. Good night. Sonya Blade backed away, wary of Taven's strength. Be on guard, stranger. I'll be watching you. It's hard to intimidate somebody after they just beat the shit out of you. You know what I mean? You'll be watching me? Okay, cool. Who else is watching me? Because they just watched me beat your ass. <laughs> Subway fight tune? I just saw some weird shit over there I felt like, but maybe crazy. Step on the leg, why not? What's in here? Elder Gods, female cape. Now I'm gonna have to go out of my way to create a female elder god. <laughs> Let's head over in this direction. We got some jabronis to fight over here. Let's steal their money first, though. This guy is just boom, getting juggled through the air and then dropped like a sack of shit. Someone's got to land on this fire. That's my new plan. Come here, you. Who can I get to land on this fire? Yeah, there we go. You know what I wish? I wish this game had trophies. I am a huge trophy hunter. I don't play like dog shit games for easy trophies. I, I like to play games that I like and then I go after those trophies. But man, if I was getting trophies for like using the environment and stuff like that, I'd be a happy camper, let me tell you something. You must have been sent by the gods. Yes, in a manner of speaking. You must help us. Our abbot has been captured by the Tengu. You must free him. I am not here to rescue anyone. I am looking for a temple. Do you know of one? The heralds of the gods. What the fuck is an abbot? Only the abbot would know of such a place. Is okay, an abbot is a person? But if he is slain by the Tengu, you may never Who the fuck are the Tengu? <laughs> Very well. Where can I find this? He is being held in the Tengu encampment. That way, to the north. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Now excuse me. Okay, he said that way to the north, and he pointed behind me. And that's obviously not where I'm heading. Strange. I can't seem to activate this obelisk. I'll come back to it later. So, we're gonna ground pound this son bitch to open that door. But we're gonna get our gimmicks first. There we go. I am 
grateful that the gods would send a hero to free me. I did not come here merely to free you. I need information. I was told you knew the location of a temple. You must be referring to the temple of Delia. Return me to my fellow monks, and I will reveal its location to you. Dude, they're three feet away. They're right outside that fucking gate. I don't have to return him to anything. He went on his own. I'm gonna take all the shit that's in here. <laughs> Man, he was just stashed in here with all this cash. God damn. I would have been locked away with a bunch of money too. He was here on... He came here on his own regard, I bet. He was pissed that I came looking for him. Take a little bit of money. Okay, fellas. What's this? Oh, fuck. I didn't need that. Okay, I brought back your abbot. Are here at last, our at last! Dude, it was ten seconds! Obelisk. Once again, I am humbled that the gods would deliver me from peril. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Tell me what I need to know. Great. Now, if you will please, direct me to the temple. Taven's losing Taven, his cool. The temple of Delia, the Lady of Flame. Built to honor the Adenian sorceress who foresaw the great battle. Legends tell that... The... Please, I am in a hurry. Thank you, Taven. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This path. I thank you for your help. I wish you good fortune. Ah, I see the obelisk begins to glow with the power of my fellow monk's prayers. I only pray the Tengu did not defile it with their touch. This guy could talk the fucking paint off the walls. Jesus Christ. Tell me what I need to know. Oh no, dude. We touched the deal and then all the other guys got fucked up too. Taven, you have entered an obelisk of your father's creation. I have empowered it to train you further in the art of I don't give a fuck about training dialogue. We're gonna skip this stuff, alright? See, I don't even think we needed to know what they were saying. It's just a it's just a combat room. So you didn't miss anything important, don't worry. Ninja medic? These guys are just medicine boys. They're not here to fight. <laughs> I mean, they shouldn't be, right? If they're just medicine boys. What do you think the odds are that we can remove the word medic from the dictionary and replace it with <laughs> medicine boys? Do you wish to continue with your trials? Do I have to? The snow ninja are weakening, so they called upon the Tengu. Okay. What, do I just have to do all these goddamn combat trials? This is bullshit. Uh, I must be getting some sort of reward for doing this, right? If I do all this bullshit and then at the end of it they're like, You unlocked uh, Jax's toilet paper. I'm going to be really upset. Give me something worthwhile if I'm going to do seven goddamn combat trials. Make it worth my while. That was worth it. At least we took out a bunch of dudes. With that one fireball. I guess that's the move. Let's try to line up a bunch of dudes and kill them all with one fireball. What? Ooh, I think we got three of them. I'm a goddamn genius. Okay, now we open the box. 1,500 coins. Yeah, let's just get through these goddamn trials. Because I'm afraid if I click cancel that these are not optional and I have to do them. You know what I mean? And I don't want to have to start over. Maybe this isn't as tedious for you guys as I feel like it is for me. Oh, jabroni fucking bullshit. <laughs> While I go through these combat trials, I'm going to ask you guys a question that I always like to ask on Let's Play Friday. And since this is a Let's Play video, it's not that far off. I want to know what you guys are playing. I am always interested to find out what the subscribers, what the Dan Dans are up to. I, when I am not playing uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon for recording purposes, I am, I believe the technical term is balls deep in the outer worlds. And let me tell you something, guys. I 
fucking love it. I love it to pieces. The Outer Worlds is so much fun. And if you guys haven't played it, and you like open world RPGs, or shooters, or anything in that realm, I highly recommend it. I'm having a blast with it. Wait, am I being timed? Try again. I don't want to do this. Can I, can I, do I have the option to quit? I don't give a fuck about these time trials, man. Here we go. Let me just play through the goddamn story. <laughs> if I wasn't being timed, I would have continued with that. Talk to me. No? Do I have to do that? You gotta be shitting my ass. Is there another way to go? We can't go that way. This way. We have to do these fucking trials. Or do we? There must be another way. Talk to me. Oh, fuck! Sorry, dude. Okay, maybe I can just go through here? We already got our stuff out of there. This is all fucking locked. Come back out here. And now, okay, this way is uncovered now. Good. Goodness gracious, we skipped the time trials. Good. I was really nervous that I was going to have to do that all, all over again. Because I really didn't want to. There's hidden shit in here. And I think this is one of them. Yep. See, my memory's not great, but it's not that bad. I remembered that. Son of a fucking bitch. I forgot about this. We got these crusher gimmicks. Okay. I think this is... Oh, that's four. So, let's... One, two, three, four. Let me through, let me through. Oh! Well, now I'm hamburger. <laughs> We're gonna get through this. We are gonna get through this, I promise. I asked a minute ago what you guys are playing, and I'm putting over the Outer Worlds to the moon. If any of you guys are playing the Outer Worlds, let me know where you are. No, you know what? Don't. I don't want any spoilers. You might be further than me. <laughs> I am having a great time with that game, though. Here we go! Son of a fucking bitch! All right, maybe, just maybe, the roll is not the move. Maybe we should just try to do a regular run. Okay, let's do that. I'm not even going to bother breaking that wall. Breaking that wall is bad luck, I've decided. Regular run, made it. Fuck that, what's this? Havoc's Mask, okay. Two, three, one, two, three... One, two, three. Better safe than sorry, right? Unlocking some soundtracks and shit. One, two, one, two, one, two. <gasps> Why did I go out of my way to step on that skull? I was tempting fate right there, dude. Big time. Check it out. You over here. Just like the Gawa Ghoul. <laughs> Dude, it's time to take these jabronis to school. Check it out. What you know about that fireball business, dog? Turns out not a whole lot, and you won't have time to learn because I just killed your bitch ass. You? In the fire. You? Into your buddy. You? Ooh, you done fucked up now. See your buddy? Bleeding to death in the foreground? You're gonna wish you were him. And to wish you were someone that's bleeding in the foreground, now you know you fucked up. What's going on over here? So, hmm, oh, okay. We almost skipped some fancy shit in here. Elder God's female armor belt. I will take it. I wonder what I would name a female elder god. I would have to do... Ooh, you see that bullshit? Look at this. Look at that. 
Uh-huh. You can't see that unless you're right next to it. Give me that shit. 300 coins, I'll take it. But see, that shit makes you doubt everything in this game. You start walking around the perimeter of every room you go in, trying to make sure that you don't miss any secrets. That's how they fuck with you. That sword right there is badass. Reminds me of Conan the Barbarian. And here's the deal, guys. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with swords. They were like my favorite thing. One of my favorite swords that I had as a kid, it was... And it's really weird, because I can't find this thing online. And maybe one of you can find it and help me track it down. When I was a kid, I had this Peter Pan sword. I think it was like... From the movie Hook, it was this plastic sword toy, and it had, like, a bell in the handle. And I had that thing when I, was a, when I was a kid. I was really little. And then one day, it was just gone, and I don't know what happened to it. And I've never... I was never able to find it. When my dad died, my brother and I went through the attic, and we cleared out everything. And I was hoping with every fiber of my being that was it was going to be in, like, one of our boxes of old toys, and it wasn't. So that thing is just, it's gone. It's gone to the ages. It disappeared into the ether. But if you guys can, based on my very poor description, try and find that Peter Pan sword, which may or may not have been from the movie Hook. It had a bell in the handle, I think. You gotta let me know. <gasps> Well, you gotta let me know about the sword and you gotta get me a new pair of legs. <laughs> That's the deal. We are gonna get past this puzzle here and then we are probably gonna call it a day on this installment of, uh, I almost said Let's Play Friday, of Mortal Kombat Monday. Now, like I said at the top of the video, this was the first part of the Mortal Kombat Armageddon Conquest mode. If you guys want to see me play throughout the entire game on this series, look at that trap right there. All you gotta do is let me know in the comments. If you want me to not do another episode of this at all, you just gotta let me know in the comments. You understand? I feel like that's pretty simple. Oh, Jesus Christ! Wow, that was horrific. We're going to try one more time. <laughs> if we die, that's it on this episode of Mortal Kombat Monday. That's just going to be how it goes. But I have faith that we can do this. I really... Oh, I almost walked right into that. <laughs> I do believe that we can accomplish this task. Get the money. Get the deals out of the ice. We're going to walk this way. We're going to avoid the hammer, but we're going to get the money. Avoid the hammer. Fuck my asshole, that's it. Dan Ans, this is Mortal Kombat Monday. Mortal Kombat Armageddon Conquest Mode Part 1. I love you. Tune in next week for more Mortal Kombat Monday. What's up, Dan Dans? Welcome to Mortal Kombat Monday. My name is Ian, and we are picking up with Part 2 of the Mortal Kombat Armageddon Conquest Mode. What's going on here? Stop where you are. Your dark allies may have escaped for now, but you have nowhere to hide. Kill him! Oh, bro, you just made a big mistake. You know what I'm saying? Big mistake. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. He's pretty tough. He's no jabroni. Now, like I said uh, right there in the intro, this is part two of me playing through the entire Mortal Kombat Armageddon Conquest mode. Uh, I said last week, if you guys want to see more, let me know and it'll continue. The video performed way better than I thought it would. You guys spoke loud and clear. You said keep going, play through the whole thing. And so here we are. It's time to continue playing Mortal Kombat Armageddon's Conquest mode. We gotta deal with some of these jabronis. We got that guy over there who's honestly pretty tough. I assume he's gonna be our boss fight. Tell you what, why don't you come over here so I can knock you onto that spear. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Somebody's gotta go on that... Fuck shit, I broke it. Well, <laughs> story of my life. 
I wanted to uppercut somebody onto the icicle gimmick, and I fucked up. I will not let you now it's time to fight Wu Li. He thinks he's hard shit because he's got his little fucking uh, knife there, his his scythe, his sickle, call it what you will. But he doesn't stand a goddamn chance. We're here to tell him that with a fucking wheel kick to the face. Edson Barboza, shout out. Wait, stop. You are free to go. Oh, of course I am. Now I am. Free to go? After I've already defeated your entire clan? How generous of you. <sighs> my sincerest apologies, warrior. When I was told that you had attacked my men near the obelisk, I assumed you were with the other two outsiders we encountered. But clearly you're human. You must be Lin Kuei. I haven't the slightest idea what you're referring to. And what is a Lin Kuei? Man, Taven doesn't know shit. Taven would not do well on Clueless Combat, the other show I introduced as a part of Mortal Kombat Monday. I told you guys, it's all about variety with Mortal Kombat Monday. Uh, I sit a friend of mine down and I quiz them on the Mortal Kombat universe. I show them characters. I say, who is this? Tell me their name. Tell me their special abilities. All that fun stuff. Episode 1 is up right now, starring my good friend No Taxes Nigel Bravo. See if you can beat him in Clueless Combat. It's a very fun video. Okay. Um. You know. Fuck this guy! <laughs> After he was, you were free to go. Cool, man. Sure I am. And we unlock Katana's sexy costume for killing that guy. See, that's how you reward good behavior. And we got Darius's shade. So we're going to be looking really good when we go over to Katana's house tonight. And son of a bitch, we're back here with more, more troubling situations. If you remember the end of last week's episode, or I guess the first installment of uh, Mortal Kombat... Oh, shit! Well... <laughs> the first installment of the Mortal Kombat Armageddon Conquest mode series. <sighs> I ended the episode because I was very frustrated. I kept dying at the first, like, puzzle area that I approached here in this ice fucking land place. Let's go this way. Is this the way? Oh, damn. Check that out. <laughs> that was pretty easy. It's like a Willy Wonka trick. He shows you all this fancy stuff. It's like, well, how do I beat it? He's like, oh, you could just walk to the side. But see, now they're taunting me because I do want to know what's in this box. But is it worth it? I'm going to say it is. Oh, shit! <laughs> Fuck, I want to know what's in that box. <gasps> Fuck! Shit, now this one's going to cut my legs off. Okay, we're going we're gonna to get in this goddamn box. Here we go. we got to let the little one come and then the big one. Gotcha. Now let's get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! <laughs> this looks like a combat zone, and yes it is. Now we've got red dragon spies. Just think about what, what we just saw there. That guy busted out of the side of the wall. Oh, that was sick. He was frozen in... These guys are frozen into the walls. These are some pretty committed spies, man. Anytime you try to apply logic to like shit that you see in video games, especially older video games like this, and it's funny to consider this an older video game now, because I grew up with a PlayStation 2. I grew up with a PlayStation 1, I should say, but you get it. You try to apply logic, and it's like, wait a minute, how long was he in there? <laughs> what was his plan? If nobody showed up, what, how long was he going to stay in there? And, who put him in there? He didn't freeze himself in the wall. He stood in the hole, and somebody put snow up around him. So doesn't that mean that somebody should have not been able to get covered? That's a pretty cool outfit for Rain. A little simple, a little simplistic, but I'm not mad at it. Got another cutscene here. Taven with his face tattoos looking like fucking Mike Tyson. There's our boy! What? So it is true. Delia's son has returned to claim the prize and save the realm. Oh, don't step to me, fool. That's I a big mistake. I come to this place, Taven. You seem to know much about me. But I know nothing of you. You don't know shit about shit. I am no friend of yours. I am Rain, a prince of Edenia. Once I have defeated you, I will find and kill your brother as well. Then I will claim the prize. See them's fighting words. Well, it's not very prince, nice. Let us see what you can do. I love that they just straight directly called him Prince right there. You know what blows my fucking mind? 
in the history of Mortal Kombat series, I did. I did a joke about how uh, Rain is a purple ninja who is the prince of Adenia. And the words purple, rain, and prince were colored in purple. The rest of the text was white. And I said, if you don't get this joke, lose my number. Or you don't get the reference, lose my number. And there are people in the comments, not many, but some, who are like, I really don't know what that means. You don't know who Prince is? Or was, I should say, rest in peace? Come on. You know what I'm saying? Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, he thinks he's cute. <laughs> then, as I always ask you guys, usually it was on Let's Play Friday, uh, I would always ask what you guys are playing. So I'm always genuinely curious as to what you guys are up to. Uh, what are you playing right now? I think I mentioned on the first installment that I was, I think I used the quote ball, we're getting our shit pushed. I think I used the quote balls deep in the outer worlds. And I still am, but with as busy as I've been putting videos together for this channel, man, I have had zero time to play Outer Worlds over the past, like, ten days. And that's, that fucking sucks. That really sucks, because I want to be playing it. But I had to finish Triangle X Squared Circle, the Backyard Wrestling episode. I had to work on Mortal Kombat Monday, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot going on. I gotta go to my real job. <laughs> We got Thanksgiving coming up. I'm working an asshole of a shift for Black Friday. I'm just gonna spam special moves. Fuck it. Oh no! <gasps> Shit ass. Got him! Three piece in a soda. Jorge Masvidal, shout out. Never fails. Rain's body vanished into a watery portal. This fight is not over, Taven, his voice echoed. The prize will be mine and I will have my revenge. Yeah, I kind of got tired of doing that voice right halfway through that sentence. <laughs> you guys know how I record. Always. It's 12.25 a.m. Gotta be up for work in the morning, but that's, that's just how I do it. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, step one, we need to open this box. Clearly. Walk away with two fucking G's, alright? So what's what's the secret path here? I think we're just going to go this way. Oh! <laughs> that didn't work out at all, man. I felt so smooth. I was like, no, I got it now. I can just go around the side. This is a fun series, man. I'm glad I decided to do uh, a Conquest playthrough. Because this is something I've always wanted to come back to and play again anyway. But now recording it for Mortal Kombat Monday is a built-in excuse to do so. Oh, there we go. I came back and I played through this whole thing. Oh! Shit in my ass. When I was recording uh, footage for History of Mortal Kombat Part 4? I don't know. Whatever part it was. Uh, I came back and I played a lot of this. But I didn't quite beat it. I played enough to refresh my memory and to, you know, know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because it had been over 10 years since I had played it. But coming back through and playing it to completion again, I'm super excited to do so. What? You know what? That's what you get. That's how I feel about you. And you up there. Fuck you. Is that it? You guys... Ah, uh, shit ass. I guess I can't hit him from that angle. What do we got here? You know there's a secret. 80 bucks. Not even worth my fucking time. Okay, so we took out that jabron. Fuck, I can't get the door open until I kill him. Well, I need a magic refill then. Ooh, that's a double hidden chest. For a dog shit costume for Darius. There we go. Where's my magic refill? Did we miss a secret? There we go. 60 bucks. Come on. These guys are lacking. Take this guy out. Because I'm not going to open the goddamn door until I do. What? And then, uh, let's apply logic again. What in this world opened that door? Does that door know that the archers were still alive? <laughs> you know? Is the lock to the door tied to that archer's heartbeat? That's what I want to know. We need to... 
But we just gotta kill those jabronis up there. I think we can manage that. Ah, fuck. Shit. Okay. So basically, we have to stand. We have to be standing in the line of fire. Got Rain's mask. To get these guys. Oh, son of a bitch. And the magic refill is. <gasps> fuck my. Fucking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they make you let your guard down, and when you do, you get your legs cut off. Those are the rules around here. Why did we, why? Why did we think that that was a good idea? I say we like I got a fucking mouse in my pocket. You guys didn't tell me to do that, I did that. That was my own dumbass fault. Stupid idiot bitch, that's me. Oh no! It, I almost did it again. I'm, why did I get that? I didn't need that. The other, I want to hit the other guy. What are you fucking... Oh, I'm going to call the cops on my own ass. I'm making bad decisions here, guys. We need to... Oh, shit. We need to get the fucking magic from the deal over here. There we go. And we need to kill that guy. Please. Goodbye. Now open the goddamn door. <laughs> Just so this playthrough doesn't take like 20 episodes, I think I'm gonna make each episode about an hour. Uh, so that... <gasps> Shut the fuck up! Okay. Zoom, zoom. That's their pattern. Get away! <laughs> Oh, great. It's going to make me cross back over, isn't it? We got another guy in the turret up there. Boom. Dunzo. I'm going to make every episode about an hour so we can get through this in a reasonable amount of time. You know what I mean? So you come here. Somebody's going on the spike. Thank you. you... Listen. Fuck. You know what? There. That's two. That's a twofer. Triple. Get the fuck out of here. Who am I, Michael Jordan? Just dropping trays left and right? Is that a dated reference? Yeah, it is. Well, what the fuck are you gonna do? We have to. Okay, I have to take out the archers? Well, I need some goddamn magic to do that, now, don't I? Oh, I see. Hitting these guys is giving me magic points, right? Is that what they call it? Goodbye. Finish him. Don't mind if I do! <laughs> A piece of shit. Goodbye. Goodbye. Here we go. Yeah, this this whole um, section here is all about the archers. I needn't worry about who finish it. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I needn't worry about anybody but the archers. But those gigantic cannonballs could be quite difficult to deal with. So, we need to get rid of a good amount of these archers. Fuck you. Where'd you think I wanted to throw that piece of shit? Oh my god. This is fucking chaos. Okay, let's not get hit by the flying goddamn cannonball. Jesus, fuck! What the fuck? Man, I thought that was going pretty well for a while there. But I guess not. <laughs> There's so many games that are coming out slash have come... Why did I do that? That are coming out slash have come out that I want to play. Uh, I've got Jedi Fallen Order on my list. And now let me be clear, I am not a big Star Wars guy. I don't really give half a rat's ass about Star Wars at all. But that game looks fun. You know what I mean? I don't like the main character. I know he's that actor kid, and I'm not trying to make fun of him directly, but I that that kid doesn't scream like leading man to me, <laughs> you know? And maybe that's just me being a jabroni and not giving him a fair shake. But I do want to check that game out, so. But man, I gotta finish Outer Worlds first. I'm talking about these other games. I'm saying I don't even have time to finish Outer Worlds. Okay, let's try and not fuck 
We're not gonna try and not fuck. You can try and fuck all you want. But we're going to try and kill these archers before we die again. Because an episode where I die over and over in the same spot is not gonna be a very entertaining shit ass. Not a very entertaining episode to watch. You know what I mean? We're trying to make progress here. We're trying to get through conquest mode. Where's a magic deal? Someone give me a fucking magic ball. There we go. A magic ball. Okay, yeah. Catapult deals. Kill the jabronis that are bothering me. So I can kill the archers. Is that it? Did we do it? Excellent. Now stop with the fucking things. Saving data. This might be a good time to tell everyone to go back. You can watch all of the history of Mortal Kombat right now. Let's check out this cutscene. Tengu leader was right. My mother's temple is here, but it's now occupied by a clan of ninjas known as the Lin Kuei. Locating the item she left me will not be easy. I'll have to fight my way inside. Oh boy. The Lin Kuei Temple. Now I can't remember. Are we talking about like... Sector Lin Kuei here? Are we talking about Sub-Zero Lin Kuei? I think we're talking about Sub-Zero Lin Kuei. But I guess we're going to find out as we play, so why I'm just talking about this, I don't know. Oh boy, well, they're certainly not dressed like Sector. <laughs> These motherfuckers dressed like Sub-Zero. Big cold poppy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at all this money, man. No wonder people break in all the time. Just leave cash all over the goddamn floor. Hey, don't. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Man, you know what would be cool is a fucking targeting system. But, I have to remember I'm playing a PS2 game. That was, targeting systems were not necessarily the hotness at this point. We were kind of left to our own devices. What the, what are you doing? These guys are just hanging out. They're not even like trying to fight. That was a double right there. Double murder with one fireball. That's how we do it. Check this out. Check, let's get them all to chase me. Nice! We took out like four of them with that fireball. I hit you with the most Eric Wareheim nice right there. <laughs> Boom. What the? You're a general? You couldn't manage a bowl of fucking jello, let alone be a general. I almost said generator. I'm trying to make fun of that guy. I can't even fucking speak English. <laughs> Check it out, check it out, check it out. Everybody follow me, everybody die. Damn, dude, we got like five dudes except this guy. Goodbye. <laughs> Rip his heart out, show it to him. Fuck you. That guy was backing up. I don't like that. I came into your house with the same shit you got on, trying to take your remote control. <laughs> and you're going to back down? Mm -mm, I don't think so. Oh, I knew there was going to be some secret shit in there. What we got over here? Oh no! Fuck! I should have known immediately. My reflexes were down. I don't know why. Because I suck. <laughs> Open the door. Ooh, we got a spiky thing. What does this do? You have found the ice scepter. Freeze and shatter your enemies and you will gain enough power to break open the door and escape. So, again, let's, let's try and apply a little bit of logic here. Is this a security measure in the Lin Kuei Palace? Are they like, okay, this room is going to be the Ice Scepter security room. What does that mean? Well, listen, if anybody breaks in, they're going to have to pick up the Ice Scepter and murder about 400 of you guys. <laughs> if they can manage to do that, we have no choice but to let them in. <laughs> And all the Link Pay guys are like, sounds good. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'd be like, I don't think that's a good plan. I wish there was a nicer fucking move here. There we go. Check that out. That's tremendous. <laughs> Check it out. Boom! How you doing? Oh, you know what that did? Oh my god, the meter goes down if I'm not actively killing dudes. Okay, so we're gonna have to do it like that, right? Right? Wait a minute. What's the most effective way to do this now? Because I'm getting fucking 
Should I freeze as many as I can? I'm, huh. Okay, so circle does the floor, but if I do it again, they don't shatter if I do it again. So I freeze the floor, and then I just try my best to get everybody? Is that the move? That's a little annoying. But so is this whole fucking thing. <laughs> the Ice Scepter security room of Ling Kuei reinforcements. <laughs> Brought to you by sub -Zero. Sponsored by Corn Chips. <laughs> the official corn snack of the Ling Kuei. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? Alright, there, we did it. The floor smashing was the proper strategy. The Ice Scepter has disappeared. I don't know. Kick the deal, what do we got? Jarek alternate costume. He looks like a fucking pallet swap ninja. 300 coins, not enough. I need more. I'm expecting every one of these treasure chests now to be a gimmicked one where they're gonna fuck with me. I also want to give a bit of warning. Here's an upgrade. Upgrade to the old magic ski. I want to lend a little bit of a, a tip to anybody who's playing this game on their own. Do not, under any circumstances, stop playing unless you get to a save area. After last week's episode where I was stuck at that like ice puzzle where I kept getting stuck on the fucking spike. It's back here. I how you doing? I shut the game off because I was frustrated and I was going to go to bed because I was recording super late at night, as usual. And I, uh, I turned it on today to do some more recording, and I was like 30 minutes behind where I was before. So, make sure you save. What's going on here? Oh no, this evil bitch. You're alive. Ah. Uh. What happened? Frost is so cool, You're man. Encased in ice. Who are you? I am Frost. Where? Sub Zero. Uh, Sub Zero? The medallion. Give me the medallion. Dude, Frost is bodied you out, man. <laughs> Let's be honest. Maybe you should How you doing? Play will be mine. Yeah, that's why she was frozen, dude. Because she's a piece of shit. Frost got some titties, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Round one, fight. Yeah, she's an asshole. Can't trust her with anything. If you ask Frost to watch your sandwich, you, you would not be eating lunch that day. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember how to do the ground. <laughs> but I remember the three piece of the soda. And the fireball. And the jump kick and the uppercut. Shit in my ass. She blocked it. I still maintain that air combat is dumb and completely useless. Uh, we've been playing this mode, conquest mode. We've gotten through how many fights? Like seven fights? Still have done zero air combat. Most of the time I forget it's even a feature in this game because it's fucking useless. And when you're locked in air combat, it's for like half a second. By the time you realize you're doing it, it's too late to do anything cool. So, it was a gimmick. It was a marketing gimmick to be like, look what we did. It's never been done before. Like, it's not this much. How about a fireball? Get the fuck out of here. Send her a fireball in the face. Taven's final blow knocked Frost from her delirium. You are not the one I seek, she muttered with embarrassment as she fled the chamber. Yeah, no shit. How many times you see fucking Sub-Zero walk around wear black and gold? Maybe you do a Mortal Kombat 11 because you can fucking customize everybody and put them in stupid colors. <laughs> Ooh, escape move. What does that do? I'm sure they're about to throw a bunch of guys at us for us to learn. But not before we unlock some cool stuff. And you know how you don't. We are going to search for secrets in every Ooh. We have frozen Lin Kuei boys in here. <laughs> We're going to find some shit. We're going to find at least one cool thing, I bet. Other than that little bit of money. 
Look, okay, everybody likes money, that's fine. I want to unlock a cool costume, that's what I want. Last one. Uh, oh, see? You gotta break all of them for that thing to trigger. And we unlock Frost's alternate costume, she's wearing that ice dress. Now we got her mask. Bro, we're rich. Who stacked all those coins back there? That's impressive. <laughs> if this was a PS3 or PS4 game, I would have gotten a trophy right there. But it's not, and I'm upset because I like trophies. What do we got? Sub-Zero, the man himself. And then Noob Saibot ah, shows up, right? Last, Spoilers. An empty room. Maybe I can rest? Think again, intruder. Great costume. You may have costume. bested my Lin Kuei warriors, but you will not get past me. Uh, and you are? I am Sub-Zero, Grand Master of the Lin Kuei. And you are trespassing. Fight! Taven should have said, oh, you're Sub-Zero. You're the guy that icy little mama was talking about a few minutes ago. <laughs> Round one, fight! I didn't like this. The first time I played uh, Conquest and I got to this part here, I was like, why is Taven about to go over Sub-Zero? Like, so early. I get it, Taven is like the son of Elder Gods and whatnot, but I don't like him... I don't like Sub-Zero putting him over so early. You know, it's just... It's weird. Maybe it's because I'm a big MMA fan and wins and losses mean so much. But it's like, man, I don't want to see Sub-Zero lose all the time. And I shouldn't say all the time because at least Sub-Zero is popular and he, he gets his due. It's not like playing Mortal Kombat 9 and uh, Reptile goes like 0-5 in that game. And then Goro and Kintaro both go completely winless. They're like 0-4. And, and at one point... You face Goro and Kentaro in a handicap match and you beat them both. And I was like, what is this shit? Talk about making these guys look like fucking jabronis, man. Keep them strong. But that's the thing is like all the bad guys have to lose a bunch of times in these games. Because we never get to see the bad guys win. It's interesting. I would like... I would like the next Mortal Kombat to have two different story modes, like a good guy and a bad guy mode. That's not going to happen, but, you know, I'm just being greedy. Mortal Kombat fans, we're all fucking greedy. We all want more. What about it? It resembles the dragon image on the door behind you. Who are you, and why are you here? I'm Taven, and I just knocked your bitch ass out! This temple was a shrine to my mother. Before your clan commandeered it. I assure you, it had been abandoned long before we arrived. I realize Confirm that. the Lin Kuei are Taven. fucking squatters. I merely came here to retrieve something. A gift from my mother. Then tell me, where is this gift? Most likely behind this vault door. The door on the right was unlocked when we first arrived here years ago. There was nothing inside. The other door has remained sealed, despite our best efforts to open it. It seems my brother has already been here to retrieve his gift. Yeah, years ago. He just told you that. That would mean he's been awake for quite some time. I assume you have a key. You could say that. But yeah, the big hand-shaped fucking thing on the wall. I assume you have a key. Sub-Zero, you might be a Lin Kuei master, but you're no fucking scientist. <laughs> you have. I gotta say, that, arm, that armor is looking pretty fucking cool. For what cool. purpose would a sorceress leave her son such a powerful set of armor? Apparently, I need it for my quest. Something important is supposed to happen once I complete it, though I do not know what that something is yet. At first, I assumed the quest was nothing more than a game, but I'm no longer certain. What do you mean? A warrior named Rain mentioned something about saving the realms, and I've also been repeatedly attacked by assassins in red. I don't recognize their crest, though it seems vaguely familiar. A dragon, I believe. Do you have any idea who they are? I may. I didn't mean to not talk through that whole conversation, but I was genuinely interested in the conversation. Grandmaster! <laughs> more intruders have breached the temple! Oh, doesn't this guy get jobbed out here? Friends of yours? They are dark warriors, yet they resemble Doesn't something shoot through his body? Yeah! Yup, yeah, there we go. Oh, buddy, noob side bots, pals. This is the Brotherhood of Shadow, right? Ooh. 
They thought he was playing. Choose sides, friend or foe. Uh, I'll help. Then defend the Lin Kuei Temple. Smash these new intruders. These new intruders. Like, look, I know you were an intruder five minutes ago, and I treated you as such, but now there are new intruders, and I could kind of use a favor. <laughs> I got a new question. Look at the arrow pointing to the fucking uh, deal there. What does, that, what does that mean? What do they want me to do with that? Got 300 coins over there. What's going on here? Sub-Zero alternate costume, dog shit costume. What do we do with that? Should we fireball it? Oh my goodness, how about that? Sub-Zero's amulet. I don't think I knew that before. I, I never realized the, the arrow was pointing directly at the thing. How articulate do I sound? I never realized the arrow was pointing at the thing. Goodness gracious. Oh my goodness! He just Steven Seagal that some bitch. But I tell you what, not me, not me, pal. Everyone is. Go ahead and line up. Goodbye. <laughs> Fucking quintuple fireball for your bitch ass. Check out the ground pound. We unlocked that other move too. Let's find out what it is. Ah, that kind of sucks. Not a fan of that. I want offensive moves. You got me? Some of this defensive bullshit. Defense isn't cool unless you're like Anderson Silva and you're just matri matrixing away from these people. But even then, you gotta follow it up with the offense. Boom, suckers. Let's break all this shit while these guys respawn. <laughs> Let's get him to follow me and then... Oh, I didn't have any fireball juice. I'm all out of magic. Because I'm testing all my shit over and over. Possibly a bad idea. Just possibly. God damn it. Now we're stuck in this corner. Being constantly reminded that the door is locked. <laughs> Give me magic juice. There we go. Whoop. There we go. Took that guy out. This guy's fucking dead. Just gonna juggle this guy for a while. How you doing? How you doing? Get up. Goodbye. <sighs> what do you got for me? I'm thinking mediocre. 200 bucks? Ooh, okay. Human noob side bot. Wrong door. Embarrassing. Um, well. We just go out the way we came in? I guess so. I guess these floating coins are kind of a hint of where to go. <laughs> we got breaking the wall here. You think I'm not going to notice? That's fucky. This is bullshit. Oh, they're going to shoot some boulders at me or something, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so we got to try and get all these deals. Oh! Without getting hit by the fireball. Fireballs. There's more than one. Oh, my asshole! I just got destroyed. All right, take two. I got to know what's down at the end of that hallway. <laughs> This is what's going to take this series so long. What's going... Oh, this is double-sided, huh? Well, let's do it. We're going in. We're going to use everything we learned from the last... <laughs> Shit. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Man, I hope there's something cool down there. Ooh, yeah, there was. We got a health upgrade. That was definitely worth it. Go ahead and shoot the deal. What's going on over here? I unlocked the Fireball's alternate costume. <laughs> Striker's alternate costume. All right. Boom. Okay, shoot the thing. We Fuck my asshole. Well, if memory serves... I think we already got that stuff, right? Right? I don't want to fucking go down there again. But we're going to go this way. I'll tell you that much. Is this one a little easier? Or am I losing my mind? 
Like maybe we should have done this side first. The rate at which this one spits out fireballs seems to be easier. Ooh, this is some gear, right? Female Elder God's armor. The boots, specifically. Now, what's going on over here? Onaga's helmet. Dude, how about Onaga? Alright, now... Oh, uh, we're pushing it! Yeah, we're not gonna do the other side. I think I already got that shit from the other side. Damn, that comes all the way out in the hallway, huh? But god damn it, they're over here too. Son of a goddamn bitch. Okay. Now is this one gonna be Why am I trying to push it? This one seems pretty easy too, so I don't know why did I have trouble with that other one? Am I just stupid? I say as I almost couldn't get into that last uh, opening there. <laughs> Boom. What do you got for me? We got this thing. Did that turn them all off? Or did it just... Oh, I have to do this. Okay, well, then it doesn't feel like a gigantic waste of time. We got more female armor or we got male armor this time? Male armor. We got two pairs of boots! For the men and the women. How you doing? Everybody gets boots today. Get in the hole, thank you. Come on, let's go. Get out of this goddamn fireball hallway. Um. Okay. So we need to hit that one too. And we're going to, don't worry. Open the door. I feel like one of these gets more difficult, but I can't remember which one. Okay, we wait for the thing. Get our money. Wait for the thing, find some money. I wonder if there's stuff hidden in these little coves where I'm staying. And I just can't see it. Now I feel like I should be tapping X in all of them. As if there are treasure chests that I can't see. Something's going on here. There we go. Is that noobs shuriken? Yeah. I'm like, why are there five things here? Everything in this game means something. And it sounds silly to say, but it's true. All sorts of hidden stuff around every fucking corner. Okay, let's let the deal shoot. Okay, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. And then we're gonna get the fuck out of the Lin Kuei Temple. Go ahead and pass us by. I love that the trajectory of those fireballs is just straight ahead. They never curve down. It's like they're completely weightless or on a string. Sorry, I'm applying logic to things again. <laughs> It's just physics, man. <laughs> What's going on? We got a big cutscene here. I think Noob Saibot's about to show up, and we're gonna beat his bitch ass. Oh, we got smoke! With a costume I do not like at all. I don't like that look. That is how you convert some of these homies into bro uh I almost said brotherhood. <laughs> into the Brotherhood of Shadow. You know what? I really like the touch of the Lin Kuei guy who was corrupted remaining with blue eyes. That's very cool. That's a detail they didn't have to do. When they pulled away, they could have just changed his eyes to red like everybody else, but they didn't. And now that he drops the scepter, we realize it's because they wanted us to uh, notice him to pick up the scepter. Have you guys ever seen Indie Game the Movie? It's It should be free on Amazon Prime. If you've never seen it... Oh damn, the scepter went away. I would like to recommend everybody watch Indie Game the Movie. It's a documentary uh, from a couple of years ago that follows several indie developers creating their games 
and you'll realize it's a little old when I tell you what games it follows. It follows the creation of Fez from Phil Fish, Super Meat Boy from uh, Team Meat, which was Edmund McMillan, and um, I feel bad because I can't remember his partner's name, but they don't work together anymore, so maybe Edmund forgot it too. <laughs> It's sad to me that they don't work together anymore, but I don't know if there was bad blood or if it just they went their separate ways, but uh, And then they also kind of cover like Jonathan Blow and the fallout from releasing Braid Which was like one of the first big indie games to hit the scene uh, On Xbox Live and whatnot. It's an excellent documentary one of my absolute favorite documentaries So if you guys have not seen it indie game the movie definitely worth your time check it out Give me that ice scepter, son. Bash all the holes. Check it out. Freeze him. Bash him. Bash him. Bash him. Doug and Danny bash him. Like a 2004 WWE tag team. You understand? You will not escape. Man, I really don't like that look for Smoke. Not a fan at all. It's... Ah. I mean, there. Are th I guess there are things about it that are kind of cool. I don't like the mask. Eh. Not doing it for me. I'm a huge fan of Smoke. I'm a huge fan of Noob Saibot. They're like two of my favorite characters in the Mortal Kombat universe. But this look just doesn't really do it for me. Do you guys remember when Smoke for Mortal Kombat 9 was revealed? And, like, the first image that was released, uh, or it might have been, like, leaked of him that showed off his long gray hair. People were like, oh, that's not his hair, right? That's gotta be, it's gotta be, like, a smoke trail. And it was his hair. And I remember some people fucking hating that costume for smoke. It's certainly not my favorite look for him, but I don't think I hated it, you know? That's another thing that I'm thinking about, is a lot of times when the classic ninja looks are brought into the newer games like Mortal Kombat X, I don't think they look very good. Like the Mortal Kombat 3 style ninja costume pack for MKX, I thought it kind of looked like shit. Mortal Kombat 9 had like the quilted MK1 style, and I thought that looked pretty good. But for whatever reason, I was not really feeling it in Mortal Kombat X. Defeated, Smoke teleported away. He may have lost, but Smoke's master would know of this interloper who had ruined their plan against the Lin Kuei. And who is Smoke's master? I can't remember right now. Is he under... Is he under Shao Kahn's control? Because Noob isn't his master. They're, they're like partners, right? I don't know. Who fucking cares? <laughs> See, that's not a bad look. I'm still not a big fan of that costume design either. I think it's a little clunky and chunky, but I don't I don't dislike it as much as I like the other one. What do you guys think about that costume? Let me know. And that mask, I don't know. It looks like a fucking it reminds me of like a robot piranha, which is not what I think of. Look at the spikes on the ceiling. Gimme some boys. What a fucking what a what a what a what a world we live in. <laughs> Who designed this place? Is this a Howard Rourke creation? If anybody knows what the fuck I'm referencing when I say Howard Rourke, I'd be surprised. <laughs> Come here, pal. All you guys, you're going up into my fucking spike ceiling. My mom built this place. You understand? And you are all you will all feel the wrath. This is like when you go in that crawl space of your house and everybody's like, make sure you duck down because there's nails. <laughs> oh my goodness! That's not good. What were those? You will join me or you will die. The blood streaming from the we ceiling reminds me of when Age of the Fall debuted in Ring of Honor. When I think it was Mark Briscoe was hung by his feet from the cable where the ladder match just took place. And Jimmy uh, Jimmy Jacobs stood underneath him and Mark Briscoe just bled all over Jimmy Jacobs while Jimmy Jacobs delivered his promo talking about the age of the fall coming to Ring of Honor. I was at that show. 
and I, Seth Rollins almost hit me in the head with a ladder. <laughs> he was Tyler Black at the time. He was a member of Age of the Fall. But there was a ladder match going on, and uh, things got a little hectic in the crowd, and a ladder swung around, and I almost got hit. I didn't, but I almost did. <laughs> that probably would have sucked if I got hit. But here's the thing, it would have made for a great story. It's a pretty okay story, being that I didn't get hit, but if I was able to say Seth Rollins hit me in the head with a ladder, it's a better story than saying almost. Shit, fuck you! Oh, damn it. It's kind of a useless move, huh? Unless you time it perfectly. Fireball, and three! Ah, oh, shit ass. Hold on, here we go. German suplex for my deeds, but how about three piece and a soda for yours? Give me a little text box. Nope, we're gonna get a cutscene out of it. Which is fine, because I don't feel like reading it. My, th my throat, you know what I'm saying? It's a little dry. Take a swig of Lipton Green Tea Citrus for the working man. I should thank you. You probably saved my life. Who is he? He doesn't seem human. He is Noob Saibot, a warrior from the Nether Realm. He is my brother. Your brother? Why did he try to kill you? He was corrupted long ago, but now I have the chance to save him. The Lin Kuei owe you much, Taven. Yeah, that really panned out, right? Turn for your aid. I will now I have the chance to weapon. save him. Yep. They are called the Red Dragon. That worked out. <laughs> I can't help you get inside their base, but I can reveal its location. Where? Shard Mountain. Oh, Sub Zero is like, you know what? I've known this entire time, but I wasn't going to tell you unless you really helped me out. And see, that's a great save point right there. But. It's not a great time to end the episode, so we're going to keep that going. Sub Zero's brother has chosen a path of darkness. I wish I could help him remove the corruption that fills Noob Saibot's soul. But now that I know the location of the Red Dragon stronghold, I must return to Orin. He will be able to transport me there. Maybe then I will find some answers as to why I'm being pursued. Man, good old Orin, right? That's our boy right there. Our magic dragon friend. I want to pet him. I want to give him a hug. I want to tell him how how great of a day I've had, and I hope he's having a great day too. Take it. You require a suit of armor. It's the item Mother left me to help with the quest. Are you ready to begin your search for Blaze? Not yet. The warriors in red ambushed me again outside the temple. I met someone. For some reason, the way Taven speaks, the warriors the in red ambushed me. Them. Makes me think of like broken Matt Hardy <laughs> when he would say goofy shit, like even the man with three H's when talking about Triple H. Visit them before I search for the fire spawn. They may be the ones who stole my father's sword. Will you send me there? Orin's got a weird skull. Like if you look at his his jaw there on the bottom, his front four to five teeth will never be inside of his mouth. He can't possibly close his mouth all the way. What an interesting man. What an interesting dragon man. Dagon kind of looks like Kratos in, uh, in human form, in a way. These guys are like, what's he doing here? I'm about to show him. Defend the stronghold. They got pretty cool costumes. I gave them that much. But they don't have a ground pound like I do. What's this? Sindel's brush. Really? That's all they can come up with? Guys, we need to put something in the field of battle that kind of... Rem Is that a bomb? Fuck! <laughs> it's probably exactly what they were going for, right? <laughs> Some Looney Tunes shit. A bomb rolls in. Is that a bomb? <laughs> Yeah, is it the best they could come up with? We need something that kind of reminds the player of Sindel so they can pick up the collectible. What should it be? I don't know, she's got long hair. What about a brush? A brush it is! <laughs> what did I pick up here? What is this fucking thing? I don't know what this thing is. It looks like a fucking lollipop. 
be a big ass lollipop, but it looks like a lollipop nonetheless. Oh, it broke. Shoddy craftsmanship on this fucking red dragon fucking <laughs> lollipop thing. Man, my my vocabulary is lacking if I just drop two f bombs in one sentence. These guys are kind of a pain in my ass. But it's lollipop time, so we're gonna forget all about it. Oh, that's cool. That like pulls them into me, and then they just dissipate. Okay. At least we don't have the bar constantly going down. Like it did in the Ice Scepter security room of Lin Kuei fucking travels. <laughs> boom. 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 How did you not die after I juggled you with like five uppercuts? Get the fuck out of here. Had enough of the gruff, pal. What the sh- what the fuck was that? Oh, you got an extra special toy. Get the fuck out of here, everybody. Everybody's got their own little treasure chest, huh? What's Fujin doing around here? Why has he got alternate costume hidden around here? Is he working with these guys? Oh, yeah, well. Stop, David. <laughs> I guess that was a clue. He needs the brush. Fuck Sindel. Give it to Fujin. I suggest you return to Adenia immediately. I would like some information first. The Red Dragon have attacked me twice. I'd like to know the reason, and I'm not leaving until I find it. Such ignorance. I will stop you. By force, if necessary. I respect you, Fujin. You are a friend to my family. See, he knows who Fujin is, but he doesn't know who Sub-Zero is. He doesn't know who any of these other people are. Fight. I don't give a shit if he's a friend of the family. Fujin's hair is out of control. Here's the deal. Fujin versus Sindel. Hair versus hair match. It doesn't even matter who wins because the loser is going to donate their hair to one of those charities that makes wigs for kids who are sick. That's what we're going to do. That's the booking. Last week we made jokes about Russo booking. This week we're making charity booking. You got me? They're going to turn it around. Shit. That was pretty cool. What a sound effect on that one. That was really good. I am getting my ass kicked. I... Oh, man. Straight left. Knock me the fuck out. Round two. Fight. I should really try and learn the rest of uh, Taven's special moves. Because <laughs> the fireball and the three piece of a soda are only going to get me so far. And Fujin is realizing that I'm throwing a lot of uppercuts and they're just not working. Damn, we're going to suffer our first loss here if we're not careful. That's it. This, this shit is getting out of reach. Fireball, three piece of a soda. We can get it back. We can get... No! Oh! Fujin. I, I don't like you anymore. You were a friend of the family, but now you're a pain in my ass. Oh no! Big uppercut! Fireball. Three piece in a soda. We got it. We are taking this fight back. Suffer a loss? I don't fucking think so. Do you understand? Well, I don't know if he understands. I don't think he does. Three pieces of soda. Fireball. Go ahead, try and do it again. Try and do it again. Oh man. There we go. There we go. Hit him with that jump kick. How about another fireball for you guys? We walked right into that. Oh no. We gotta make this count. I do not intend to lose to this ponytail boy. Oh no! <gasps> there it goes. God fucking damn it. I am so upset. I cannot begin to explain how upset I am by that. Ugh. Oh, winning streak down the drain. <sighs> and we can get this one. We can get it back here, but it's not the same, man. You're looking for that undefeated run. And we just pissed it away. And I'm very upset about it. 
very upset. Cause look at this. Look how easy we job him out this time. And last time he's fucking running around the ring. Beating the shit out of me. God damn. I'm pissed off now. Go ahead, keep trying it. See what happens. Keep going. Do it again. See how it works out for you, pal. Give it a shot. Go ahead, throw your little fucking deal. You have no idea how close you were to getting flawless victory, my friend. Oh, I'm so upset. I can't believe we fucking lost. That's the first loss we've suffered. Look at his face. Didn't want to do that. Fujin has been an ally for many ages. But I need to confront the Red Dragon. This must be the entrance to their stronghold. I hope they haven't been alerted to my presence. I'll soon find out. You're just gonna leave him on the ground there? Fujin, I don't want to fight you. You're an old family friend. Proceeds to beat the fuck out of him and then just be like, Oh, I guess it'll be alright. <laughs> it's kind of his problem now, isn't it? Goodness me. I think we can manage that. Open the fucking box. Jesus Christ. 300 coins. Um... I don't know if I should hit this. Oh, I guess so. I, it, I don't know. It, like, the caution design on it, I was like, if I break this, I feel like it's gonna hurt me. There are definitely secrets hidden in here. And I don't... Look at that. See? There's one right there. Get a little closer. There's the money bag. It's not a draw distance thing. It's literally like they want you to explore. They want you to find these things. Get a little health upgrade there. There's another one. Tanya's choker. Ooh, Tanya's into some shit, huh? Not looking too bad. <laughs> Let's stop wasting all those because I have a feeling we're going to need them later. Oh, no! Dude, I got away from that one. Fuck you. I ran away from that one before it opened. I'm calling the fucking cops. 300 coins. Gonna use it to take Tiny out on a date and impress her. What's going on here? We got a checkpoint. Whoa, we gotta fight some boys in here? Time stop. What does that do? Sounds pretty self-explanatory. Ooh, I see. I don't know if you guys would have guessed it, but time stop allows you to stop time. <laughs> What's this thing do? Okay, we're gonna blow that up. Goodbye! That guy's got no head. Why is time stop so significant here? They really went out of their way to show that to me. Dagon's belt? Dagon's belt, I should say. We're not talking about Colin Moriarty's brother. <laughs> okay, so we're blowing that thing up. Taking his head off. The time stop, there, you know what? There must be a puzzle coming up where it's going to be super useful. Because it's, it's not incredibly useful in this fight. But that's not to say that there's not some shit coming up. Boom! Blowing the fools up left and right. Let's do you guys too, why not? Oh, these guys all over the place. Goodbye! There we go. There were more secrets in there that I didn't pick up, so I hope it's not taking me out of this room. Oh, Dagon. look who the cat Dagon. fucking dragged in. You look older. I am older. Much older than you, big brother. So That's a paradox. Awakened long ago. Why are you here? This is my stronghold. Your stronghold? And these warriors? I formed the Red Dragon Clan many ages ago. There must be some misunderstanding. Your soldiers have been... Wait a minute, is that canon that there he formed no the Red Dragon Clan? 
I completely years, forgot about that detail. Every corner of Earthrealm searching for you. Scouting parties were placed in locations where you were Interesting. Like At our parents' temples, for instance. I see you found your armor. I wear mine always. The fuck happened to his Why eye? I don't remember that. After me. Isn't it obvious? I intend to kill you. What? The prize will be mine, Taven. I will not risk losing it to you. Grandmaster. Oh, Mavado. What a useless Speak piece of Mavado. shit. John Blade Cusack looking found. ass. He looks like John Cusack and Nicolas Cage jumped in a fucking blender and this is what came out. This stronghold alive. That is so funny. That's like classic movie villain shit. This is my plan and I will not have any risks involved. And then leaves and lets someone else take care of it. I'm sure they'll do fine. <laughs> the fuck out of here. We are not going to lose to Movado. Fujin got the best of us. We beat his ass in return. We got that loss back. But Movado is a fight that I intend to win. Even if he's got fucking spikes in his shoes. Like his deadly alliance fatality. Which that fatality is not... The idea is not horrible. The execution and the animation of it is bad. But the idea of like spikes in a dude's shoes and he like stabs you with them. I don't hate it. Man, you really get some range with this sword. I can hit him from fucking Idaho from over here. What's up? What's up? What's up? Fireball, tree peace. No, he blocked it. Oh, a little bit of air combat right there. An hour into this episode, I threw two kicks in the sky. Thank God they touted that as like one of the major marketing points for this game. <laughs> Where is he? Where is Blaze? Demanded Taven. Mavado's only response. Why did I do a voice there? Mavado's only response was a sly smile. As Taven reached for his foe to make his point more strenuously, Mavado snapped away on a concealed elastic cord. <laughs> He disappeared through a hatch which sealed behind him. Picture that in your head if you're having an argument with somebody and you're like, I'm gonna get you, and they go, uh uh. And then this line that you didn't see before just snatches them out of the room. <laughs> that's fucking Looney Tunes. Oh, that's stupid. That's really stupid. But alas, <laughs> we continue our quest. Need to find my brother. Need to find my brother. Dagon. He must still be in the cave somewhere. Okay, so there was. There we go. Mavado's hooks. Oh, did you see that bullshit? Look at this. You gotta be on top of that one. Mavado's alternate costume. Kenshi looking ass. Female big titty elder god's torso armor. <laughs> How you doing? I mean, I guess being an elder god has its has its perks. What is this? You just have to punch the checkpoint a few times. So that probably unlocked that big door that we saw before, right? Oh, was that Kano? Dude, Kano's feeling ousted. We gonna get him. We gonna get him, don't worry. Nice little checkpoint there. He should be right around here. I don't trust him. Where's he at? He's a mean-looking son of a bitch. Kano's a name. I am Taven. Do you know what the Red Dragon are doing here? Seems they're trying to create real Red Dragons. They've been able to create a hybrid of man and lizard. Using their own clan members as test subjects. And you were next? They were trying something new on me, but they'll never finish. <laughs> Wait, I have more questions for you. Taven is such a genuine, trusting soul. He sees a man as mean looking as Kano, got some hidden shit, with a fucking fake laser eye, and he's just like, hey man, I got a couple questions, can you help me? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think he's a little too trusting, if you ask me. 
That is something else, isn't it? Great, a whole fucking army of lizard people. Okay, at least they're not all like bosses. I thought this was gonna be a boss fight, and I was like, shit, I don't think I'm prepared for this. Let's go get the money bag, and what is this? Is this Kenshi's deal? It is. Ooh, I unlocked Dagon. Can you tell this is a new save file? Because I don't have all the uh, characters unlocked anymore. <laughs> okay, check this out. You? You right there? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Blow up that deal. Where is everybody? All y'all motherfuckers running away. Heading in the opposite direction of the fight. So this guy is a hybrid, right? So what does that make you? Mutated hybrid. I was gonna say, he's taller. Mutated must also mean that he's a pussy. Because he's standing all the way over there when I'm right here. That's some bitch ass stuff. Why don't you come fight me over here? Because you'll get wheel kicked and you know it. Loser. <laughs> Check it out. Get the fuck out of here. How many more of your kin must I kill before you unlock the goddamn door? Check this out. Boom! That's all it takes. It takes one shot and you guys are donezo. One, right there. Boom. Now give me a fucking present and <laughs> open the goddamn door. Reptiles alternate costume, which I feel like is another um, hotly debated look. Like whether that's a good look or not. Ooh, that's a good idea for a video. Bad cost. Well, I stepped on that rat and it unlocked this thing. I do feel sorry for killing that rat. I didn't mean to. We unlocked Quan Chi's costume. That's a good idea for a video, isn't it? Mortal Kombat Monday. Um, bad costumes? Bad alternate costumes? Is this good shit? Is that something you guys want to watch? Quan Chi. Here's Serena looking all kinds of bodied out. Didn't carry the records with me. They're all up here. That wasn't smart. Kill him. Fight. Wait, I have a question. The guy said I didn't write them down. I have them all up here. And Quan Chi ripped the guy's head off. Does, is Quan Chi gonna like put a micro USB in that guy's ear hole and like somehow siphon the information? What the fuck? I don't really know what his plan was. But I must say I'm intrigued. Tune in next week to Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a bitch if I was like, that's how you find out. Okay, are these, are they healing? Am I crazy? Is Serena healing them? Is I don't. What the fuck is? What's that blue shit? I feel like something. Some bullshit. <gasps> don't hit that. I definitely feel like some bullshit's going. On. Cause I've done a lot of damage and it's not like showing up. She is. She's healing them. Oh, now I'm pissed. Because I don't have a lot of health. That's not fair. See, now I got knocked out. Are these three good-looking women? <laughs> That's not fair at all. Where am I? Oh, okay. Step on the rat. Open the thing. Get the deal. I've already got full everything, so we're going to go up here. Is it going to play the cutscene again? It is. But we're going to skip it. Okay. So who is the one? We don't want that health yet. Shit. Oh wait, did I just blow her up? Okay, that does a lot of damage. That's the move. All I had to do was blow those bitches up. Hit her with those triple kicks. Fireball, there we go. Job him out real nice. Now open the thing. Serena's alternate costume looking pretty good. 
Who remembers Serena from WWE? Her name was Serena D. She was a part of CM Punk's Straight Edge Society. She was looking pretty good. <laughs> Gotta break all these open because you never know where the unlockables might be. There we go. Serena's sash. I think I heard a lizard man down the hallway. Oh no! The dragon! That's Dagon's dragon! If they're abusing him, dude, I'm calling fucking PETA. Is that Reptile? Did he come to save the- If he did, then we're on Reptile's side, dude. Close the portal, dragon. I command you. Koro! Get away from him, lizard! I am Reptile, and I do not answer to you. Fight! Dude, Reptile's voice sounds really cool here, and he's rocking his uh, Shaolin Monk's costume, which I love. I love the Shaolin Monk's costume for Reptile. Is that a popular opinion, or am I crazy? I don't know if everybody likes this look, or if I'm, if I'm the outlier here, but let me know in the comments. I must know. Let's talk about my big old sword, why don't we? You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's got one too! But mine's better. Three-piece? What are you talking about? Hit him with a fireball. Hit him with a three-piece. His sword's pretty cool. It's a little jagged at the edges. But mine's huge. And I can hit him from all the way over here. Follow up with a three-piece. Sword uppercut. Remember when Reptile was the fucking man in Mortal Kombat 1 and he was unlockable at the pit if you did all the special stuff? And somewhere along the lines, he just kind of became another character. And that hurts my heart a little bit because I love Reptile. And I know it's kind of like... I don't know if it's hacky to love all of the palette swap ninjas, but I do. I love every single one of them. I can't help it. Let's save Karo, man. Can we please? I feel bad for him. Karo, you're injured. I have been enslaved here by Dagon. He uses me to teleport his clan anywhere in the realms. Now I absolutely I hate Dagon. Be Before this, I was kind of like, like ah, he's just getting his he's money. not the man he once knew. But what to do that to Karo? Now he's a piece I of fucking shit who will never forget. Blame. Long ago, I lost mental contact with the fire spawn blaze. I mistakenly took it as the signal to awaken your brother. It's pretty clear that Karo and uh, Taven are the same voice <laughs> Dagon was unbalanced. He was outraged that he had been manipulated by your parents and demanded to know the true purpose of the quest. Did they tell him? Perhaps. Whatever he learned must have disturbed him greatly. He killed them both. <gasps> killed them? Impossible. Father was a god. Mother was a powerful sorceress. How he did it is of little importance. They are gone. And I am to blame. Carl, you are not to blame. It's not Do your not fault. Dagon's a motherfucker. <sighs> Nevertheless, I wish to atone for my mistake. Moments ago, I created this portal to the Nether Realm for your brother. He is there now. You must follow him. Oh, we're gonna follow him, now. and I we're gonna take him out much in the name of Caro. I will return to help you. There is no need. I intend to stay here and destroy this atrocity Dagon has created. No. When I am done, the Red Dragon will be nothing more than broken bodies strewn throughout the hollows of this mountain. Go now, and may the Elder Gods watch over you. So is he sacrificing himself? I don't like that, man. I don't like dragons dying, I don't like dogs dying, I don't like horses dying. I don't like animals dying, ever. It's not gonna fucking happen, I don't like it. I don't live like that. I'm not a fan. Torn by Karo's request to leave him in the Red Dragon stronghold. He and Orin have long been friends to my family. Together they have protected Edenia from many perils, not the least of which was Shao Kahn's unsuccessful invasion years ago. But even in his weakened condition, Karo will not be easily defeated. 
I imagine he is combating the Red Dragon Clan already. May the Elder Gods watch over him. He will not be easily defeated. How about he won't be defeated? In my head canon, Karo survived. He's the hero of the fucking universe. And he and Orin met back up and they're having good dragon fun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because that's what I like. That's what I want to know about. We have just reached the Netherrealm Cliffs. And we have also just reached the end of this episode of Mortal Kombat Monday. Thank you for sticking through part two of Mortal Kombat Armageddon's Conquest hey, Mode Dan Dan's. I love you very much. Tune in next down. week for another episode. Lots of variety. Dan Dan's, welcome to Mortal Kombat Monday. My name is Ian. We are playing Mortal Kombat Armageddon Conquest Mode. This is part three. If you have not watched the first two installments of this um, go round, I guess you'd call it. Uh, you should check those out, because I'm playing through the whole thing. Should I jump? Okay. I'm playing through the whole thing, and that's the whole point, is you want to be able to watch the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? That was a hell of a jump. And it woke up these dramen-looking sons of bitches. Now, here's the deal. The last episode of uh, the Conquest Mode playthrough that I'm doing went up, what was it? Three weeks ago? Four weeks ago? And I shot that like two weeks before it went up, so I haven't played this game in like a month and a half now, so I kind of forgot how to play again. So bear with me, let me get my buttons here, you know. Okay, L1 plus face buttons is how I do all my cool shit. What else do I have? I've got the time stopper deal, which allows me to throw these sons of bitches. Goodbye! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, what else is there? The ground pound, the fireball, and what's the circle move? Oh, I just teleport? That's kind of bullshit. Here's a weird problem I'm having right now, and you guys are probably like, I don't give a fuck about that. Um, I always record my gameplay through my MacBook Pro. It's a 2017 model. And I use Elgato Game Capture HD software. And for whatever reason, just like a week ago, the gameplay recording is making my MacBook sound like a fucking jet engine. And uh, it's a little concerning because I just started. I'm probably going to be playing for about an hour. And I don't want my computer to explode. So I'm playing like shit. If there are any uh, computer, specifically Mac whizzes in the comments, let me know what I can do to fix this problem. <laughs> because I've been teetering on the edge. Which door should I go through? There's another one of you? Listen, get the fuck out of here. Which door should I go through? Well, oh fuck, I have a choice, don't I? Well, I like this one better, I think. Goodbye! <laughs> I would rather not buy a brand new MacBook Pro. Hey, we unlocked a new song. But I have been teetering on the edge of doing so, so if one of you can talk me out of doing that, please do, because those are very expensive. Damn, Natara looking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she looking pretty good there. We're on these nether realm cliffs, and shit's getting a little hectic now. There's Draman. I knew those boys looked like him. Oh man, that's all he has to say? Welcome to hell. Dive right into a fight. His mask looks a lot like uh, Asuka's mask. You know what I'm saying? Asuka's looking way better than Draman does, though. <laughs> Speaking of not remembering how to play... God, I don't think I remember any of Table's special moves. <laughs> What do we got? What do we got? Damn. Yep, I don't remember anything. Shit in my ass. We can't lose the fucking pig pen from Charlie Brown. I won't allow it. Okay, fireball. We got the fireball. What's my three piece in a soda? I don't remember. Get away from me, you stinky, smelly prick. Alright, we're gonna cheat a little bit. Special moves. Down forward square. Four forward triangle. Alright. I think down back square is my three piece in a soda. Shout out to Jorge Masvidal. Oh, he blocked it! What a piece of shit. I hope you guys all watched uh, the new episode of Triangle X Squared Circle, which focuses on WWF Warzone on the PlayStation. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a little behind the scenes information. I went into writing that episode. I was like, this will probably be a pretty short one. I'm thinking like, thinking like 12 minutes on this one. It's the longest episode I've ever done. <laughs> and I don't know how that happened, but 
I every time I go into an episode thinking like this one will probably be pretty short, it winds up being so long. Like Backyard Wrestling, I think, was the only one that kind of wound up being just about as long as I assumed it would be. Every other one I always underestimate it. But it seems like you guys are really liking that Warzone episode, which uh, makes me very happy because I worked really hard on it. It took me a long time to do. And I announced at the end of that episode that the upcoming installment covers Def Jam Fight for New York, which I know how many of you guys are looking forward to that. Hold on. Drum and ignore the... E Ecor? Ecor? Take two. Draman ignored the Ecor dripping from his fresh wounds as he leapt over the edge. You fight well, young godling, he sneered. I don't know. I read that fucking novel and my voices are all fucked up yet. But your skills will not save you from the evils that await below. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll save all of my voice acting for the next installment of reading the Mortal Kombat novel. Which, how about a little more... Hey, we unlocked an arena. That arena kind of sucked, to be honest. How about a little more behind-the-scenes information? I was pretty sure that that episode of Mortal Kombat Monday was going to be the first one that bombed. I thought that one was going to perform like shit. I was like, who wants to listen to me read a Mortal Kombat book? But I wasn't not going to do it. I did think it was a cool idea, so I went for it. And you guys seem to really, really, really like it, so what the fuck? I'll keep doing it. That's that big old fist drop into a fantastic superhero pose. Obviously can't go that way. Got some gimmicks over here. Ooh! Got some cool Kestis. That's what they call those weapons, right? That's That are on your hands. They're like brass knuckles with spikes. I think they're called Kestis. I remember thinking when I was younger, I was on some message board and there was a post like, if you were in, and this is really shows the sign of the times that people talk like this, like, if you were in the zombie apocalypse, like, who would you wish would be at your side and what weapon would you give them? And everybody's answering, like, action, action movie stars and shit like that, like characters from movies. And I was like, you know what? I want to be realistic. I want to pick real people. And one of my choices was I wanted Chuck Liddell, and he had Kestis. Like, brass knuckles with spikes on him. I was like, damn, what kind of slow-ass, lumbering-ass, walking dead-ass zombie is going to be able to fuck with Chuck Liddell with spikes on his hands? You know what I'm saying? This was a long time ago. Chuck was right about at the end of his prime, and he was still smashing fools. But yeah, man, I think, I think that's a pretty good pick. I find questions like that extremely annoying and irritating nowadays. <laughs> Who would you bring with you into the zombie apocalypse? <laughs> Remember when zombies were everywhere? They really were. Before that, it was vampires on the back of Twilight and whatnot. Damn, I punched that son of a bitch in half. Damn, that's the asteroid that took out the dinosaur. <laughs> I would like to note, I am recording this. <sighs> hey, we got some female armor for an Elder God. Create a fighter. I'm recording this on the night of Christmas 2019. It is, what is it, about 1.30 in the morning? <laughs> so while you guys are all enjoying your new presents and whatnot, those pressure plates might help me open this gate if I could only provide enough force to activate them. Well, I do have a ground pound special move, you jabroni. Whoa! That was a sweet Shinar costume, but those big ass uh, gimmicks are pretty scary. Oh, I see. They don't want me to use my ground pound. They want me to get a comet to hit it. So that's that one. Right? How many comets do I need to... What? <laughs> do I need a comet to hit this fucking wall? I don't understand. Oh, they do want me to ground pound it. Okay. Well, I don't have any goddamn... There we go. I was going to say I don't have any fucking magic. Which one's ground pound? Triangle? Gotcha. Boom, boom. Wait. 
What about the door? I need more magic. How do I roll? I don't remember how to do the ro What the fuck? I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Should I? Okay, so now there's more magic over here. I should open all of these, right? Because there's that fucking, there's that special deal in there that we probably want. Come on, get the fuck out of here. You can tell me I didn't hit that thing. Give me more magic. The Elder Gods have uh, blessed me with that magic diamond deal. There we go. Can someone explain the logic behind that to me? Ground pound all of these things and then, uh, then that thing will open. <laughs> Lee May sandals. Okay, what does this deal do? If this is a fucking combat trial, I'm going to be really annoyed. I don't want that. I want some cool shit. Welcome back, young warrior. Your training has only begun. Son of a bitch! The undead legion rushes to feed. Stop them before they reach me. Why don't you stop them, bitch? You're not even real. Where are the where's the legion? Get the fuck out of here. If I line them all up, oh that didn't work. I was gonna say I can probably take a lot of them out. Oh, I guess this is really handy. I can just grab them all and throw them. Which will definitely hold them back. I don't... How do I do... The, uh... There it is! The spin kick! That guy's gonna blow up. He's a problem. Goodbye! There we go! I was gonna say what we need is some good fireball action. Oh no! I am... Out of uh, magic shit. There we go. That's a little bit. But I don't think that was enough to kill all these sons of bitches. That are getting... No! They're getting too close to him. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I just beat the shit out of myself. Great. I had enough fucking magic for... Shh. Stop beating up the guy we're trying to... Pre are they not even going for him? I kind of feel like... Well, first of all, I'm doing way more damage to the old guy than they are. So this is... This is fucked up. Okay, there we go. At least now he's getting his hands up. Oh, I hit him with a fireball. <laughs> this is trouble, man. This whole thing is just not going very well. You get the... Fuck... Oh, great. Fireball at nothing. <laughs> this is a mess, man. We're gonna run through, we're gonna get the magic. Stand in front of the homeboy. Blast some fools, give me that shit. Blast as many boys as possible. Get out of here. How many of these guys do I have to kill, for fuck's sake? This is getting ridiculous. This is only the first of six trials. Guys, I don't know if I wanna do all this bullshit. Nah, fuck this. We're out of here. How do I fail? <laughs> How do I just fail this and go back to the regular conquest? That's way more fun. This is taking so long. Look at this. Danins, what are you guys playing right now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? By the time you're watching this, Christmas has already come and gone. So I'm sure you have some new fancy games to play. Try again. How about... No. Get me the fuck out of here. I would rather do anything else. Yeah, fuck that. That did refill my health, though. So that was a... That was a good little gimmick there. Go down. <laughs> Let's just carry on with the conquest. That platform out there is too far to teleport to directly from here. I'm going to need a lot of power crystals to continue. Now, where are they? Such a generic voice. I'm giving him the most generic voice possible. But, let's be the fuck honest. Taven is up there for maybe most generic Mortal Kombat character ever? He, I mean, he's only the star 
of conquest mode for this game. You would think Motaro, dollar store Motaro, alternate costume. <laughs> Maybe they could have given an alternate costume that um, was actually Motaro. <laughs> See, this is why I'm glad I skipped that bullshit, because this thing that I'm doing here right now is exactly what I was just doing before. Oh, I kill a bunch of zombies! <laughs> but back to the question that I had, uh, what games are you guys playing right now? I will let you guys know that I started Death Stranding, and then I had absolutely zero fucking time to play it for like two weeks-ish? had no time to play whatsoever, but I came back to it, and here's the thing, you guys all know Death Stranding is pretty divisive. People, I think a lot of people aren't sure if they love it or hate it. And I can say that like the graphics and the imagery and the overall weirdness of it, I kinda love. But I realized last night while I was playing it that I'm about five and a half hours in, and I don't know what the fuck anybody is talking about. No idea. I am cripplingly confused with anything that anybody says. It's like, I talked to, uh, what's his name? Die Hard Man. He's the really cool looking black dude with the black skull face mask. I talked to him and he was like, we're disconnected from the chiral network. So what you need to do is go to the Port Knox facility west and use the Cupid to link the BTs to the BB, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? And I'm not the smartest guy in the world, <laughs> you know what I mean? If it was just me being an idiot, I would admit it, but I think this game is reveling in its own weirdness so much, and it, I think it kind of wants the player to not know what the fuck is going on, which is not how I would design a game, but at the same time, I'm going to continue with it. I don't dislike the game. Uh, I actually like it quite a bit as, with as far as I am. Which I know five and a half hours is kind of early into Death Stranding, which is like 35, 40 hours from what I hear. But I just wish I understood what anyone was saying. I really wish I could connect with it better because I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. He's an elder god here in the nether realm. It seems as though he needs help. Shinnok is over there fighting that thick thighed fat ass white woman. This day is <laughs> Die, Shinnok. Taven. Where did you come from? Shinnok's looking really I cool am here. Weakened, son of Argus. You must protect me. Step away from Lord Shinnok. Now. You will pay for your interference. Damn. Taven just got he just got caught up in the game that fast by Shinnok. Now here's what I'm thinking. If I walked up on somebody who looked like Lee Mei in that outfit, the first thing in my head would not be, let's fight this woman. <laughs> the first thought is probably like, how you doing? And also, the second thought is, I don't remember how to do the fireball. There we go. Oh no! She blocked my fucking combo. She's giving me problems. Alright, if she's gonna take out the sword, we're gonna take out the sword. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit! Ooh! She pulled out some fancy shit. And by that, I mean she kind of just kicked my ass. Oh, <laughs> she came flying at me and I just karate chopped her out of the fucking sky. You know what? You want to use your fucking sword? Go ahead. I got uppercuts for you, bitch ass. I got fireballs for you, bitch ass. It's a fancy little kick. What do you know about this? Oh, man. <laughs> she totally shut it down. Just hit me with another fancy kick. Three piece and a soda. Get the fuck out of here. Round three. Fight. Gotta start with that flying kick. Did you really grow up with Mortal Kombat if you don't start the fight with a fucking jump kick? I'm, I'm depending almost entirely on special moves. <laughs> and jump kicks. Don't forget the jump kicks. But hey man, it's working. I'm trying not to suffer any losses. 
I did suffer my first and only defeat on the last episode. Ooh, that spin kick. When Fujin was able to steal one from us. Your assistance could not have come at a better time. You defended me against the she-devil Li Mei, and for that, I am forever grateful. I don't understand. Why did you need my help, Lord Shinnok? You are an elder god. I am an elder god no longer. I have been cast down, punished for involving myself in the affairs of mortals. Now I am cursed to preside over this wretched nether realm. What could you have done to anger the elder gods? <laughs> Boldly asked as always, Taven. Perhaps even a former elder god may be permitted to ask his question first. Why are you here? I'm looking for my brother, Dagon. Yes, I remember him. You competed with one another often. You won most of the games, as I recall. But what makes you think he's here? I followed him here. He's been corrupted somehow. I don't know what evil led him to this place, but when I find him, he'll have much to answer for. I will help you find him, Taven. But first, I will need to regain my throne. Demons and strange warriors have overrun my sanctuary. Help me clear out the invaders and you will gain my favor. But you must listen to my instructions closely. What must I do, Lord Shinnok? Damn, Shinnok got this gigantic concrete flying carpet bullshit. I didn't see that in Mortal Kombat 4. The idea that Shinnok, an Elder God, resides within the realms is beyond belief. That he requires my aid is even more baffling. But I will assist him any way I can. It seems that demons and other beings have cast him out of his own spire. I will defeat them all, floor by floor, if need be. Taven is so fucking naive. You know, like a lot of this stuff, this is baffling to me. How could this be? If an elder god was cast down for meddling in the affairs of mortals, and first of all, he just looks like Shinnok, wouldn't you be like, oh, maybe you're a cunt. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't trust you. Those are all the uh, pieces of the Kamidogu back there, are they not? Also, yeah, that's what I think we're looking at there. I would like a little bit of input from you guys um, when the playthrough of Mortal Kombat Armageddon's Conquest mode is finished. What do you guys want to see me play next? I'm, I get suggestions every week of you guys asking like, oh, do Shaolin Monks next, do this next. Um, do me a favor and give me like some, uh, some answers here in the comments. I'll let you know where my head is at right now. This is kind of... Why are why am I doing like no damage to these fuckers? Do I have to do something with this? Hey, that seemed to do a little something for me. I don't remember how to do the dive. Like there's a roll. Yeah, I died. Fuck. There's like a roll dodge that I can't remember how to do it. Uh, my thought process, like I cut myself off. I'm not even letting myself get my sentences out. Is to probably do something a little shorter. Because this is, this is going to be a long time, you know? This is, we're three parts in now, and we're probably, what, maybe halfway finished playing through Conquest mode here for uh, Armageddon? I feel like if I do a shorter thing next, like maybe Mortal Kombat 9 story mode, or some shit like that, we'll move along a little faster, and we won't be so held up. Because I'm also mixing in variety as I go. Every week is not the same shit over and over. Like, oh, god damn, I'm getting my shit pushed. Every week is not the same thing. Like Conquest mode part one, part two, part three. I'm mixing in Clueless Combat. I'm doing Conquest mode. I'm reading the fucking book. Um, I just bought a very cool piece of retro Mortal Kombat merchandise that I kind of can't wait to... Uh, do a little video with. I guess it would be an unboxing of sorts. Uh, I think that's going to be a really cool video because I checked on YouTube and nobody apparently has ever done this thing that I want to do. So 
that's pretty exciting. And I could tell you guys what the idea is right now, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to shooting that video and getting it out. And I hope it does well, because it's really not the kind of thing I do on my channel. And I spent a, a nice piece of money on the, the product at hand that I want to go through. So hopefully it pays off. Hope you, hopefully you guys really like it. It wasn't a complete waste of time and money. <laughs> We got here. Yeah. But Raicho, one of the most useless fucking characters in Mortal Kombat history. Maybe the most. This portal looks exactly like the one from the Mortal Kombat movie. Where Liu Kang beats Shang Tsung at the end. And then his brother Chan walks into it. And they've made peace with his death. And it's uh, very nice. <laughs> if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't, here's my number. I'm pretty sure I mean that. If you have not seen... The Mortal Kombat movie, lose my number. I have decided I do mean that. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Ooh, what's in here? I found a secret one. Lee Mei, wearing actual functional armor. Here's another thing. Um, oh, shit. This is awesome. Oh, dude, this is awesome. I don't remember this at all. Bunch of little boys. I'm gonna smack him with a hammer, like fucking Clark Griswold. <laughs> um, here's the other thing. That Lee May, I made a comment of, ooh, a secret thing. Oh, Raicho's bullshit, get the fuck away from me. I made a comment there about how that's like actual functional armor for Lee May. If you're one of those fucking nerds who's upset because the girls in Mortal Kombat 11 uh, aren't wearing as scantily clad outfits as they used to, shut up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shut up! Whoever makes a fucking game can make it however they want. If they want the men and the women to be fucking naked, they're allowed to do that. If they want them to wear fucking body casts head to toe, they're allowed to do that too. I realize what I'm talking about is old news, but it's still fucking annoying. I think he's got another trick in... Oh, we're just doing this one again? These guys are fast. And see, the big guy, I don't like. I'll fight him. But the little guys, I feel a little bad for. I feel like I'm smacking a bunch of Peter Dinklage's with a hammer. Or did you guys see Joker? That little guy that works with Arthur at the, uh, the Clown Academy or whatever the fuck it is? I like that guy. I feel like I'm smacking him with a hammer. I don't want to do that. I want to be friends with that guy. He seems like good people. Shit. Balls. Boom! Uppercut for you dudes with that right hand. Knock him out cold. Unlock the new gimmick over here. What do we got? Cool alternate costume for Havoc, which makes him look a lot like Rico. I gotta do a little lap here. Oh, shit! Oh, I already got that. I was gonna say I gotta do a lap here and see if there's any secret stuff I might be missing. Because several of you guys, ooh, Havoc's upstairs. Several of you guys have been helpful. It's just too late. You've let me know that there have been parts where I've walked past an area where there was a secret and I didn't know it. What well, these guys have to say? Trouble, I hope. Careful, Taven. This one is most unpredictable. You know him? I am Havoc, cleric of chaos. Shinnok will not regain control of anything so long as I draw breath. See, this is where... Ooh, no loading screen. That was fancy schmancy. That's where Taven, if he had a brain in his fucking head, could be like, okay, you're Havoc, and you've got a problem with Shinnok. What problem do you have with Shinnok, you know? How about give me a little bit of background before I go fight into the death for this fucking guy? For Because for all intents and purposes... Shinnok was fired from being an Elder God. People don't just get fired for no reason, you know? Sometimes there are company-wide layoffs. But again, that's not for no reason. It's not like the boss walked up to you and was just like, Ah, you're done here. What? I don't know. There was a financial issue, the company's restructuring, so they laid a bunch of people off. It sucks, but it happens. But there is a reason. Or maybe you just suck at your job, so you get fucking fired for that reason. 
So why did Shin not get let go? Taven, these are the answers that you should be looking for. Damn, I'm beating the shit out of Havoc. For having such a cool look and voice. He walked up here like Jobber Jabinski and just got buried alive. Havoc is down, but there will be more like him in the chambers above. Who are these invaders? Why did they attack you? Hey, questions. We must make our way to the next chamber. Immediate fucking deflection. And Taven's just like, okay. Taven has no idea how to communicate at anything other than a face value level. You gotta know when someone's spinning you a fucking yarn. You know what I mean? Get away from Lord Shinnok. Oh man! Still, that guy just—you impaled that guy on the wall for what you believe is no reason. <laughs> I. This is awesome, dude. I think spikes are the coolest thing <laughs> in anything. If okay, here's the deal. If you want to get over with me and you're making a fucking movie or writing a book or a video game, whatever you're doing, put spikes in it. And I'll be like, I'll give you a review and say, you know, best game ever. Best book ever. Why? You see the spikes? <laughs> Dude, double wheel kick impalement. Shout out to Edson Barboza. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of my MMA references, but it's not going to stop. Did anyone watch UFC 244? Did you watch Kamaru Usman versus Kobe Covington? Because I did. Did you like that fight? Because I did. Here's the thing. I don't like Kobe Covington. I think he's a piece of shit. I think he's a dickhead. Um, I do realize that his MAGA act and all that stuff is an act and it's a gimmick because he wants to gain attention he wants to make some money um that's all well and good even if it's not real that does i don't have to like you you know what i mean i hate that shit i don't like it and i'm glad kamara usman fucked him up i'm not taking anything away from kobe as an athlete as a fighter the guy is an a level top tier fighter but as a person he can eat my balls <laughs> you know what i mean that's just the way it is. You don't have to feel the way I do, but that's the way I feel. What's in the box? All these coins and I'm not fucking buying anything. What's going on here? Grab these coin skis. Let's do a lap. Well, we got some female Elder God shit, of course. Got some new soul chamber music to fucking bump in the car on the way to the fucking nether realm. <laughs> or maybe I'll listen to it while I'm on my, on my way to the Quan Glee region. If you've been watching Clueless Combat, you get the reference to the Quan Glee region. And I just want to say I'm very pleased with how well the Clueless Combat episodes of Mortal Kombat Monday have been performing. That was another thing that I did not know if that was going to get over at all. I didn't know if you guys were going to like it. But it seems like you really do, and I, uh, I'm very happy about that. Because I have a lot of funny friends who I knew would do a great job on that show. And so far, they've all been very entertaining. And here, here's what I want to do now, is I want to get some of my female friends on the show. Because I don't want it to be all dudes, you know what I mean? But, uh... We're going to see what happens. I shot four episodes of Clueless Combat a couple months ago, and three of them have aired now. Nigel Bravo, the artist, Craig uh, Cheeseburger, almost said his uh, shoot name there for a second, and uh, Tony Montanis' episode has not aired yet. So I only have one more in the can, which means I need to get to work on shooting some more Clueless Combat. But in seven episodes of Mortal Kombat Monday, three of them have been Clueless Combat. So I probably will let that chill a little bit. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want you guys to get tired of it. So we will see what happens. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying Clueless Combat, let me know in the comments. Which episode was your favorite? Because I think everybody has been very funny so far. I don't know if I have a favorite offhand. I mean, Nigel's episode probably got over the most with the Quan Glee region. 
<laughs> Nigel wants to do a whole lore video about the Quan Gli region. <laughs> Man, we fight everybody under the sun for this fucking pale face Christmas colors wearing bitch. <laughs> Oh man, that's dude, four daggers. Get the fuck out of here, that's not fair. Gotta hit her with that shoulder butt. Big old combo into the jump kick, a little uppercut for your deeds. Hitch, ooh, she stayed laying down for that fireball, but she can't avoid the three piece in a soda. She was feeling real good, feeling her oat when this fight started. She's not feeling too good now, is she? Got that backhanded uppercut for your forearm deeds. Listen, you crazy bitch, here's the deal. <laughs> You're not getting past Taven. That's just the way it is. We're helping our good friend, the wrongly accused, the innocent, the handsome Shinnok. You got me? And there's nothing you can do to keep him from sitting back in his chair. <laughs> What the fuck am I talking about? This is the shit I hate. I fucking hate when they do this all the time. In Mortal Kombat 9, we beat Goro and Kintaro back to back. And across story mode, Goro and Kintaro went 0-4 and that shit drives me nuts. They should be kept strong, they should look so good, they should be monsters, not jobbers. And here we are. We fucking just knocked out Shiva, and then we're gonna knock out Kentaro like he ain't shit. Drives me nuts. Bad booking, my friends. Bad booking. As let's let's just let's fucking examine it a little bit. As Taven, we have gone over. If you're not a wrestling fan, that means beat. We've beaten Sub Zero. We've beaten Sonya. We've beaten Fujin. We just beat Shiva. We're about to beat Kintaro. This guy Taven is showing up out of fucking nowhere. And he's going over all these established legends. That's not how you get a new guy over. It's bad. Bad booking. You know what I'm saying? I'm fighting like shit now. Because I'm, I'm up the fuck set. That's not fair. He's spamming that bullshit. I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the cops. That's all there is to it. And he's no-selling my fireball. He's not bumping on my three-piece in a soda. <laughs> I'm getting really upset. Look at that. No-sells my fireball. So we suffered another loss, which I'm really upset about. But we're about to get it back here. We're about to Hulk Hogan this shit. We're going to get our win back. <laughs> We, we just gotta fight smarter, you know what I'm saying? What always works on the big boys? Jump kicks and get inside. Look at this. Jump kick, get inside. That time I got fucking slammed like nobody's business, but... Fireball. Oh, my balls! Get inside, hit him with the uppercut. See, when I try to fight him and make it a little more entertaining, I get fucked up. But if I fight like a cheap ass bitch, I win. <laughs> so the choice the choice is ours. And if he's not gonna bump on my special moves, I'm gonna fight it like a bitch. <laughs> we almost got that flawless. Listen. Just to prove a point. You don't have to bump on my three pieces of soda, but you will lose to it. Those shoulders are going down for the three, brother. That's all that matters. My thanks to you, Taven. You have restored to me what little semblance of authority I have left. I am honored to be of service to an Elder God. Former Elder God. But I do appreciate your loyalty and respect. You may rise. Your brother. Yes, he has been to the Netherrealm, but he is not here any longer. I sense that he has gone back to Earthrealm. What? 
Earth Realm? I will send you to him. But you must leave now. Thank you, Lord Shinnok. He is strong, quite strong, and a skilled warrior. I told you he was a problem. Oh, After shit. All my tests destroyed my apparitions with ease. More quickly than you did. Perhaps I am aiding the wrong brother. Ooh. What? You swore you would help me. Fool. Damn, he's not weakened at all. Effectively delayed. His means of teleportation has been eliminated. Forgive me, Lord Shinnok. Wait, so that was a swerve with Lee May? Just that your aid is was she working with success. Shinnok too? Our success. There is more to this quest than you know. All things have led to this moment. The prize is not merely some gift, as your mother and father would have had you believe. It will determine the fate of many mortals. A fact I will use to my advantage. I don't understand. I have informed other warriors of the prize to hasten their participation. They will think, as you did, that godlike power will be bestowed upon the victor. It is a deception. They are marching to their doom. You shall be the victor and the catalyst of my ascension. What must I do, Lord Shinnok? Okay, so I forgot that part. Apparently, the winner was never going to get the godlike power. Strange. Shinnok knew that. No! Was my dragon friend! It until I cleared his spire of invaders. Now he has sent me back to Earth. I'm so upset. None of this makes sense. I wonder if Orin knows anything about Shinnok's fall from grace. I really wish they didn't show me that. Orin was my friend, goddammit. He was my dragon friend. It's like my dog. Orin, are you alright? Now I'm sad. Did Dagon do this? A sorcerer, Quan Chi. He somehow discovered the location of this cave. I, I think I've seen him before. I believe Quan Chi wants to prevent you from leaving Earth Realm. I've kept the portal open, but I'm growing weaker. You must go through now, or you will be trapped here. I promise you, Orin. I will find this Quan Chi and make him pay with his life. Go now. And may the elder gods watch over you. Orin, I stand. I salute you. I give you many hugs and many kisses. Quan Chi is a fucking rat. He's a roach. He's a cockroach. And I will crush him under my foot. Like the piece of shit pussy that he is. Oh, I'm upset now. You don't do that to my dragon friend. Throw some jobbers at me. Shao Kahn's fortress. I must be an outworld. I suspect Quan Chi is already inside. God damn I it. Find a way to get in. I see the spinning blades. You got any treats back here for me? Yes, sir, you do. That's a great costume. The classic costume is his alternate. I need to eliminate Shao Kahn's archers. His what? Oh, his archers. <laughs> I only had to get hit with a fucking uh, arrow to figure that out. I thought you said Shao Kahn's arches, and I'm looking around thinking, like, what arches? Look at this bullshit. Oh! Well. <laughs> that didn't work out very well for old Taven there, did it? Okay, take two. Now we know. Don't stand in front of the spinning blades. <laughs> you know what's funny? And I don't know if the guy who left this comment, that comment is going to be watching. But um, I got a comment on the last episode of Mortal Kombat Monday from somebody who I assume was a subscriber. And he said, I'm tired of Mortal Kombat videos every week. And I didn't want to be a dick. I just responded, fuck my asshole. That's not what I said to him. <laughs> I didn't want to be a dick, but I responded like, well, that's what this show is, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Mortal Kombat Monday seems to be something that 
99.99% of you really enjoy, and I enjoy doing it because it allows me to like a lot, make a lot of varied content, but I don't know, man. I guess you can't make everybody happy. But if you are listening, good man, I hope you, uh, I do hope you stick around for the other sort of content that I think you'll enjoy, like Triangle X Squared Circle, the wrestling game retrospective series. Because it's not all Mortal Kombat. Okay, let's study this shit, because I don't know where to go. Alright, that wasn't so hard. But, there are multiple pathways. What is this, an upgrade? Ooh, buddy, we got a little extra magic there. Got an unlockable deal over here. And guys, let me know. I know I'm asking you to leave a lot of comments, but please do so. Um... What are your favorite episodes of Mortal Kombat Monday so far? <gasps> oh, boy. <laughs> I thought maybe I could slip by. What are your favorite ones so far? Do you like these Conquest Mode playthroughs? Do you like the novel readings? Do you like Clueless Combat? Uh, were you more into the in-depth documentary? That was the History of Mortal Kombat Part 6. Box Office Annihilation. Obviously, I can't do like 40 minute in-depth documentaries every week it's not possible i have a full-time job there's just no Ooh, i got through there's just no real way for me to do that but when the time is right i will always do my best to make the documentaries because they are my favorite things to do but yeah let me know what kind of stuff have you guys been enjoying here what do you want to see more of let me know. We gotta communicate. You know what I'm saying? Goro, that fucking costume sucks. That shit sucks. Should we go in here? No. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? Did I miss something out here? <gasps> okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Both of those rooms have the rocks coming down and I don't really see a way to get through don't get crushed okay let's study it so one two big gap that seemed like enough time to get through and this is one two three one two th yep we're gonna go we're gonna go on this one I think this is the time nope Okay, I don't know what's going on. We're gonna try. 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 <gasps> Ooh, we did it. The studying kind of didn't make any sense because I didn't come to a real conclusion anyway. But you know, <gasps> did I did I throw that guy down there to get cut up? Because if I did, that is awesome. I want them all to get cut up. <laughs> that says con guard, but I thought it said Nash guard. Like Kevin Nash, Big Sexy, Diesel, you know what I'm saying? And I know there is an outstanding um, subscriber milestone video that I still have to pay up, which is the winner of the poll was my top 10 favorite wrestlers of all time. Do not worry, that is going to happen. I just need the time to do it, you know what I mean? When I'm working on Triangle X Squared Circle, a big one like I just did with Warzone, I can't go through there. Um, I'm getting Mortal Kombat Monday done. And it was Christmas time. I've been extra busy. What am I supposed to do here? Here we go. There's not always time to get the subscriber milestone videos done. But I have never not paid one off. So do not worry. It will happen. I'm actually really excited to do that one. Because... Ooh! Because here's the deal. When I do Triangle X Squared Circle... I have to be very careful. I have to do my research because if I get something wrong, you know, ooh, ah. <laughs> if I get something wrong, I look fucking dumb. And making a documentary like that means I'm speaking with authority on a subject. And if I don't do my research and I look like a fucking idiot, that's not a very good documentary, is it? <laughs> you know? Shit, I'm scared. Um, but when I do a video that's just my opinions, like my top 10 favorite wrestlers of all time, I can't get any of that wrong. You know? With that, I get to do and say whatever I want. And if people don't like it, that's just their opinion. That's fine. We've all got our opinions. But yeah, there's way less pressure 
this was a bad idea, wasn't it? There's way less pressure when it's just like an opinion video. We're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go! <gasps> Woo! That was cutting it close. I think I'm the king of cutting it close. Or I'm the king of bad timing and you're the king of just getting by. If anybody knows what I just referenced, you just got a whole bunch of fucking points with me, brother. <laughs> I don't want to say it's obscure, but it's definitely not, uh, like, mainstream, as it were. Get this fool out of here. What's your name? My name is Skull. Really? That's the best you got? <laughs> You're that tall and you got a name that fucking short-minded? Get the fuck out of here. Ooh! He just no-sold my wheel kick. Not that one, though. I'll tell you that. Let's bust this thing open. And let's look for some secrets because I don't trust that there's no secret in here. Not for a fucking second. They've conditioned me to doubt everything. Yeah, see, now they're just making me look like a fool. What does this do? Hey oh There was a secret. How do I do that roll? I know there's a way to do a roll. There we go. Forward is R2 and square, backward is R2 and X. Not very good costume there for Shang Tsung. There is a video that you guys have also requested, which is the uh I think top 10 worst alternate costumes of all time in Mortal Kombat. I think I might, because I said I would do that, but I think I might call an audible on that one. I might just do like the top 15 or... <gasps> I almost forgot. I might do like the top 15 or top 20 worst costumes of all time and just kind of forego the alternate part. Because there's some bad main costumes as well. For sure. And I don't want those to be forgotten. I don't want them to go by the wayside, as it were. But we got a little checkpoint ski here. Open the fucking door. What are you doing? Jesus, what the fuck happened there? That was annoying. Oh, we got some boys here, huh? And they think they cute. I need some magic so I can just ground pound their fucking shields away. That's what I want. Listen, I don't think so, throwing your little gimmicks at me. Come here, come here. Shit in my balls. Come here. Somebody! Why can't I throw people into that? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Okay, that worked. And that worked. Okay, that was sick. But why can't I do the toss move? Very strange. Meats steak. That was a pretty good looking steak. I gotta ask another question now, guys. How do you guys eat your steak? Are you a rare guy? Are you a medium rare guy? Are you a well done guy? Are you a medium well guy? You know what I'm saying? And uh, if you don't know what that means, rare is like, is red. So if you're looking at medium rare, that's kind of pink. You know what I mean? But if you're a well done guy, that shit's gray. It's cooked through. It's it's like eating a fucking piece of leather. I myself am a rare to medium rare guy. Give me that shit as red as possible. I want it to taste like blood. You understand? <laughs> That's how I am. I want to know how you guys eat your steaks. I feel like it's a question I want to know about all of my friends. How do you eat your steak? I do I do understand that most of my friends think that I'm a fucking madman for eating my steaks red. They even call steaks that are like very rare, they call them blue. Where it's like seared on the outside, but then the inside is practically fucking raw, they call that blue. I would prefer regular rare or medium rare, but I'll fuck with blue every once in a while. I don't give a shit, I'm not scared. But yeah, my friends say I'm a fucking madman for eating that, but I don't know, I'm a, I'm a carnivore, you know what I mean? Why do you guys watch this? <laughs> I'm sitting here at fucking like 2 o'clock in the morning talking to nobody about steaks. <laughs> Playing Mortal Kombat. 
And I say talking to nobody because there's nobody here in the room with me now. And I'm not going to hear your guys' answers to me until like a week later when this shit goes up. Oh, I'm insane. But I think all of you guys who subscribe, I think you're all insane too, so. At least I'm not alone. Open the fucking doors. Got a little bit of a cutscene ski here. What's the deal? What's going on? We know Shinnok swerved us. Big big time double cross. Oh, Melina, how you doing? She hasn't been down here in ages. I am Melina. Mm, not bad. Care to dance? Yeah, man. She wears that gimmick on her face to hide her teeth, but I don't know, man. Some guys like unique looking people. And I shouldn't just say guys. Guys is a gender neutral term there. You know, it's like when people come into my store, I say, what's up, guys? I don't know. I don't know who the fuck I'm talking to. Men, women, anybody in between. What's up, guys? Is just what I say. But some people really like unique-looking uh, individuals. They they're attracted to that. You know. Man, this big-ass sword is coming in handy every once in a while. <laughs> and how could it not? Look at the fucking thing. Not that time. As <laughs> soon as I drew attention to it, it became useless. Let's talk about this fireball. Ooh, let's get away from the fucking red line, first of all. Melina, we want shit in my ass. She immediately got away from it. We want you by the red line. That's what we want. She's doing her damnedest to stay away from it. And see, the problem is now I'm so focused. There we go. So how are they going to explain this now? That I just crushed her to death. Pop her head like a cherry tomato under that fucking steamroller gimmick. And now in the next cutscene, she's probably just going to be like, Ouch. <laughs> her pride wounded. Melina escaped into the bowels of the fortress. Yeah, I'll say. This left Taven to wonder. Who was that strange creature? With those big ass titties. <laughs> I think Melina having the cleavage out is a lot like Batman having a big yellow symbol in the middle of his chest. You know, it's a distraction. It's to keep your eyes away from what she doesn't want you to see. That's the logic I'm adding to it. What do we got here? A Melina costume? Oh! Who called it? She's looking mighty fine. Open the fucking door. See, and I guarantee they probably hid shit in here. I don't feel safe not checking every square inch of every fucking room. Because I feel like they're trying to gimmick me out of a secret. And they're not. So now I just look like a fool again. Okay, what's going on in here? Shao Kahn's vicious dungeon dwellers have sounded the dungeon alarm. Which will not only bring more dungeon dwellers, but also a fiery death upon you in two minutes. Send them to their own fiery grave before time runs out. Shit. I don't like this time stuff. It chaps my ass. <laughs> That's what my dad used to say all the time. You know, that really chaps my ass. I'm missing a lot of fatality opportunities here, and I do apologize. There we go. I was looking for some kind of stage fatality deal here. But again, now I'm focusing on it too much, and I'm missing out on a lot of combat opportunities. Like, check this out. The age-old, get them lined up, fireball, take out a bunch of them. I don't have enough for a fireball right now. Damn, we got a minute left. We're like halfway there, though. I think we can pull it off. Get them lined up. Great, we got one guy with that. No, that's awesome. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Boom. They have been sent to a fiery grave. Where are the secrets? There's gotta be secrets in here. I don't trust y'all motherfuckers to not put a secret in here. Ha! There it is. Kamidogu. Or whatever. Kwanji. That's what that is, right? I can't remember my lore at the moment. 
forgive me, it's quite late. <laughs> and I have to go to work in the morning. Why do I do this to myself? What the fuck? Who's that? Who are these people? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so there's all these rooms. How do I open them? How do I open these deals? Maybe with this? That'll do it. Do they want to fight me? I think this is the way out. Follow me. All right, you guys go do whatever you're gonna do. I'm gonna pillage and plunder. <laughs> Open the deal. More Elder God stuff. There's so many little hidden secrets in this game. Like, if you step on a certain number of these breakable shits that are on the floor you unlock the pyramid of argus sweet if you uh step on a certain number of these things it'll like unlock something in the room and that happened early on in the game but now i feel like i have to step on everything or else i might miss something damn we're getting all kinds of upgrades here which is really going to come in handy shit Fuck my ass. I never remember that if it doesn't open immediately, maybe I should fucking run for cover. Because I'm a dunce. And it's always right before the thing goes off that I'm like, oh, this is taking a long time. Step on everything. We want to break everything to see if we get something extra special. For doing so. Step on a pelvis. Why not? Why won't this one break? What is so special about that one? Is it broken? Is it just not animated right? Tanya looking good. Something's up with that arm, man. It's fucking me over. But you can see my feet are catching on it. So it is like a physical item in the environment. Whatever. Draman's fucking Asuka mask. All this time I've spent running around these rooms to break every single item. That arm broke just fine. Let's try this one more time. Nope. The Elder Gods have forsaken me to look like a fucking moron once again. <laughs> Let's head through this door ski here. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's trouble. That's big time trouble. So that's Axe. Where is Smash? This is one half of Demolition, clearly. Okay, so we've got Ground Pound deals. Okay, so... Man, I don't really understand how to time that. Cause he's like on my ass 24-7. Maybe if I start here, where is he? Okay. Fuck. No, that's really not working for me. At all. Do they all reset now? Cause I pressed them all? Or am I just fucked? I guess I'm just fucked. I don't know. That, that seemed like a waste of time. I feel like... Oh, wow! Okay. So, if you close the distance on him, he'll just cut your fucking head off. Alright, good to know. So, I guess what we... Ooh, I have that time-stopping ability. How short-sighted of me. What a dumb fucking idiot bitch I am. Oh, we gotta check that decapitation one more time. Why not? Okay, so let's get him in the middle. And then... Fuck shit. Come over here, buddy. Come over here. Sh oh, I don't know if that's enough. Oh, that'll do. Okay. 
That worked. Let's get that. We're gonna keep him coming after us, but we gotta trap him in the middle. Where are you, brother? That will do it. De almost dead fucking center. So now we got him down to about a little less than 20% health. One more will... Oh! That's, that's not going to cut the mustard. I'm not even going to bother wasting the magic because it's not going to cut it. Come this way just a little. Ooh, buddy. Come this way just a little bit. That will do it. Good night, nerds. Bitch ass. Let me get that axe from you, brother. Oh, what a waste. What a waste. Time for a little cutscene ski. Shujinko! Another useless fucker in the long run. How do I know you won't attack me? Oh, he trusts he does not trust Shujinko, but fucking Shinnok, he's like, I'll do whatever you want. I must see. I thank you, stranger. I am Shujinko. I am Taven. You plan to defeat Shao Kahn? Whole realms have tried to overthrow him. Not only will I defeat him, but a host of his allies. They are in his chamber now, plotting some coming battle. I allowed myself to be captured. From this dungeon, I can enter Shao Kahn's soul chamber. Once there, I will be able to destroy Shao Kahn and all his allies in one stroke. I suggest you leave quickly, Taven, for I cannot guarantee your safety. My safety? I just defeated this entire... <sighs> Foolish old man. Okay, I don't remember what happens with Shujinko, but it's going to be so funny. If he's talking all this mess about, I can defeat Shao Kahn and all of his fucking partners in one strike. If he goes up there and just gets jobbed out, that is going to be quite, quite, quite funny. I almost missed this little secret room over here. Step on all the arms. Uh, that's another glitched out arm. Nope, that, see, that one eventually worked. What do we got? Give me something good. Give me something good. Shujinko costume. Doesn't look very good. <laughs> My one request and they couldn't grant it. How do I get in that room? Something in here is bullshit. But I don't know what it is. Unlock some Goro's Lair tunes. Pick up Shujinko's gimmick. What is the secret to getting in here? can't teleport through the wall <laughs> redoing those doesn't help me at all I don't see anything on the ceiling something to do with those no they're not close enough oh this is gonna drive me nuts and one of you in the comments is gonna tell me what I was missing It is curious that they keep providing me with magic here, which tells me it's one of my moves I'm supposed to use to get in there. But I don't have time to fuck around. Let's get moving. Do you wish to leave the dungeon to go back to the elevator? Yeah, oh, they're taunting me there. They're like, you know, you didn't figure out that secret, you dumb fuck. <laughs> hey man, they can't all be gold. Not in the dungeon. Something Shujinko said might imply that he is in the throne room. Hopefully this lift will take me there. You know what? Hopefully it will. I really do hope that that is the case. Give me them coins. Give me them tunes. Give me them coins. <laughs> Give me them sack of coins. Oh boy. We gotta cut these fools up now. Man, I'm getting my shit pushed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not only, I know by the time you guys see, see this that Christmas has come and gone, but 
I think I already asked you what you got. I do want to know what you got from the people in your life. But I also want to know what you got the people in your life. Your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mom, your dad, your friends, your fucking dog. My dog opened his own presents this year for the first time ever. I adopted him right when he turned eight. And he's uh, just about to turn nine. And this is the first time he ever opened his own presents. I was very proud of him. I held it for him and he ripped it open and he took his toy out. Shout out to Patches the Ghost. But yeah, what kind of stuff did you get? And uh, what did you do on Christmas? You know, did you go to somebody's house? Did you have fucking dinner? Exchange presents? I want to know the stories. I want to know what you guys are up to. I always do. I wouldn't go through the comments if I didn't give a fuck what you guys are up to, you know? See if there's any secret skis over here. There's not. Go through the door. Ooh, stop for a little wheel kick. Why not? Oh shit, this is that big Shao Kahn boss bot battle deal. <laughs> I don't remember the trick to this. Yeah, I ground pound that thing. And then what do those do? This is a cool one. If only I could release their power, but I can't reach them. Yeah, so I have to Would you f what the fuck? I really didn't think that that was just going to stick me to his goddamn foot like that. That sucked. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I expect more, you know what I'm saying? We got to ground pound those deals, those gimmicks. And I think we need th we get them to shoot him. So we're gonna go around him. Oh man, you really need to keep your distance, huh? Fucking shit. Okay, ground pound. And it did absolutely nothing. What is that? There are symbols on the floor in front of these. But I'm not supposed to ground pound that, obviously. Do I need him to be standing here? So we're gonna stop time with that. We're gonna do this. No, so what is the fucking, what's the deal? Do I need to break these little fuckers? That seems kind of ridiculous. Do I have to shoot? Oh, I gotcha. Okay, that still didn't do anything. Do I have to shoot them all? Get away, get away, get away! Ah, uh, fuck! All right, we need some health here. Shit in my ass. Shit in my ass. Fuck. Okay. Take three. I think take three is going to be the one. Because now I think we know what we're doing. <laughs> For like the first actual time. I think we understand what we're supposed to do. Got to readjust in my chair here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're going to walk in. We're going to skip the cutscenes. We're going to shoot the deals immediately. We're going to do that first. One. I don't, okay. Did that work or no? We got, what, two of them activated? Three. And... Fuck off. Fuck you! Okay, so all four are activated. This is the death zone. So please stand there, Mr. Khan. And now we're gonna do this. But the question- Okay, so it takes two of those. Fuck off. Get away from him, that's big trouble. So, we're going to do that. We're going to do this. 
This is riveting commentary, huh? We're gonna do the. We're gonna do this. Okay, so we got them all. Are they all on? They should be. Why did that one not go on? That fucking. That's annoying. Okay, so they're all on. He is inside the deal. We're gonna walk past him, and that should do it. Goodbye, bitch ass. Man, see, this is another moment where I would love if this game had trophies. I'm a big trophy guy. I just achieved my 52nd platinum trophy on the PlayStation Network at Venus Doom 616. If you would like to add me, I don't play games online, so I'm not gonna play games online with you. <laughs> it's nothing personal. I just don't really like multiplayer games. Um, but you can see uh, when I'm on, and I can see when you're on. We can send messages to each other. A good buddy of mine, uh, Maximum Carnage, who is a subscriber to this channel, just sent me a very nice uh, Merry Christmas message today, which I appreciated quite a bit. And to you guys who do message me on uh, PSN, I appreciate it. Sometimes I don't get back to you right away because uh, typing a message out with the controller is a fucking pain in the ass. So I kind of just answer them all in like one go after they pile up for a while, but that's a horrible fucking costume for Raiden. But you guys know I go through the YouTube comments all the time. That's the easiest way to reach me. Or at IDS616 on Twitter. Anything special over here? No. So we are going to head on out and... At the next save point, we are going to wrap this episode of Mortal Kombat Monday, because we're going kind of long here. Oh, great. We get to fucking go over Goro now. <laughs> Why not? We've gone over every other show, Khan. Why not? Goro's just chilling out there with Taven. He's like, hey, what's up, pal? Who are you? Goro is really in his own world there. I am looking for Quan Chi. Have you seen him? He is with the Emperor. I am Goro. I have been ordered to let no one pass under penalty of death. Well, maybe you should have been paying attention there, dummy. We're gonna put Goro Round down. One. Fight. He, Goro looks pretty good in this game. I think he looks a little short, but as far as like his uh, his design, I think is very cool. I always liked like the, not freckles, but like the markings on his back, I always thought were very cool. And very Goro, I've always thought that that's kind of like the, one of the coolest features about him. We're fighting like shit. Oh no, shaking baby syndrome. All right, so here's the deal. That round sucked. <laughs> so we're going to try and put it together here. See what he thinks about. Ooh, he don't like that fireball. He ducked right underneath that shit. Three piece in a soda. He won't bump. Because Katara wouldn't either. Again, these fucking Shokans with their four weapons. Give me a fucking break. That's not fair. It's just, it's not fair. He's got double the limbs. It's like Cassie Cage bringing a gun. If you listen to No Taxes Nigel Bravo on Clueless Combat, he says that, damn, we lost twice on this episode. Nigel says that there should be no guns allowed in a fighting tournament, and I tend to agree with him. I think he's right. How's that fair? Round one, fight. I mean, it's like the scene from, uh, what is it? Is it Temple of Doom or Raiders of the Lost Ark? Where the one guy's got the sword and he's, like, challenging Indy in the town square. And then Indy just takes out the gun and fucking shoots the guy. It's like, did he outsmart him and outwit him? Yes. But, I mean, in a hand-to-hand -hand fight, that guy would have beat Indy's ass. I'm not fighting very well here. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're gonna walk away with this round. But I'm not feeling very good about that performance. That's a vi I always like that animation. That's a very cool animation that the Shokans have. 
when they get up is to uh, propel themselves off the ground with their forearms. Very cool. And if I was a Shokan, I would do that shit all the time. Can you imagine if you had a fucking Shokan kid in your, like, middle school gym class? <laughs> he just had four arms and he made everybody look fucking terrible athletically. Because he's got extra limbs. See, that's a, that's a fucking... That's a premise for a movie. My Shokan classmate. <laughs> I am not happy that we lost that round at all. And uh, this one is not starting out so hot either. At all. We are kind of getting our shit pushed. He blocked my three piece. That's no bueno. You know what I complained earlier? That Taven is going over all, all the Shokan guys. But then when they beat me, I get upset. Because <laughs> I know uh, Ed Boon and company have booked me to win. I'm supposed to win. Oh, that was bullshit. Totally no-sold my three-piece and just hits, hits me with a fucking right-hand jab. That's two losses in a row. I'm very sore about it. I'm not fucking happy. Round one, fight. This is the one. It's my fucking fault. I'm sitting here talking about... My Shokan classmate. <laughs> when I should be paying attention ooh, to the competition at hand. I don't like how he's ducking my fireballs. I really don't appreciate it. An ugly round again. But I don't like having two losses in a row. That really upsets me. And now we have suffered four losses across the uh, the entire scene of Conquest Mode. I really would like if somebody was keeping track of what my win-loss record was. Because I feel like we're at this point we're probably, what, like 15 and 4? Which is pretty good. But it could be better. We are, uh, well on our way to losing this round to Goro here. <laughs> Son of a fucking bitch. I'm getting upset. Man, he's really good about avoiding that fireball. Oh, shit in my ass. Come on, come on, come on. He didn't avoid that one, though. Or that three-piece. What's up, son? Oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit. <gasps> Ooh, I entered the button wrong. I went for a three piece right there, but I fucked it up. I still got him. As Goro skulked away, he shouted, You have bested me this time, son of Argus. But should we meet again on the field of battle, you will not be so lucky. Why does Goro talk like broken Matt Hardy? <laughs> the man of four arms <laughs> goodness gracious where's the next save point man we gotta drop we gotta bring this episode to a close here as I check on the audio recorder I see we've gone like almost an hour and a half a little upgrade ski here and my batteries are dwindling I don't want to have to worry about that bullshit Dude, none of these guys are paying attention. Goro wasn't paying attention. These uh, map room warden homies weren't paying attention. Get the fuck out of here. Here, you, come here. Goodbye. Wait, why can't I throw him off that ledge? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, this is one of those rooms where I have to just kill a lot of these guys. Okay. Fireballs should help me do that. And then I only land, I only kill one guy with a fireball there. Not ideal. Also getting surrounded, not ideal. Especially in this setting. But it doesn't seem like I need to kill 
too many of these guys, so we're kind of well on our way here. Come here, you shit! And jumping around like a fucking lemur. Who's shooting the lightning? You? Come on. You, you know I can't have you doing that. Sit still. <laughs> I love how my complaints are like for them to sit still. Why would they sit still? <laughs> to make my job easier? That's exactly what their job is not. But I gotta talk some kind of shit. What am I gonna sit here and say nothing? That's not a very entertaining conquest mode run through, is it? Come here, come here. This lightning bullshit. I don't have lightning powers. I do have fireball powers though, as that poor son of a bitch just found out with the quickness. <sighs> now where are the secrets in here? See, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm getting tired of searching for these fucking things. But when they pop up, oh well, we ran out of time. <laughs> I got too close to the green light and it took me away. Well done. Those were elite guards. If you say so. I assume you are here to kill the Emperor. If anyone deserves to die, it's Shao Kahn. But I'm here for someone else. Quan Chi. Ah yes, he is in the next room with the others. As much as I would like to see him die, I have been charged to protect the Emperor's allies. I am Reiko, general to Shao Kahn's army. The Emperor could use warriors such as yourself. Mm, as a rule, I don't ally myself with egotistical madmen. Then I'm afraid I will have to kill you. You said your name was Rico. Well, why do you look like Shao Kahn had sex with Nightwolf? <laughs> he really is dressed a lot like Shao Kahn, isn't he? And now it makes sense because, like, he just said that he's... Man, this level sucks, too. I don't remember this stage. Um, he just said that he's, like, the general to Shao Kahn's army or whatever. But... Remember in Mortal Kombat 4, Rico's arcade mode ending when he sits in the chair and then Shao Kahn's helmet comes down on Rico's head? I'm getting fucked up! Shao Kahn's helmet comes down on Rico's head. I remember the first time I saw that, my brother and I were playing together. We both saw it. And we were like, wait a minute, is Rico Shao Kahn? Which doesn't make any sense. But we were like 8 and 9 years old at the time, so logic wasn't really our strong point. We were just like, wait a minute, what is this? Is this like Time Machine Shao Kahn? Is he Shao Kahn's son? What's going on here? And we didn't get answers for a long time. Holy fuck, why is he so hard? He is so much more difficult than anybody else I have fought. This is insane. I do have some breaking news for you guys. My laptop finally just got a little more quiet. Which worries me. I don't know if it's about to burst into flames or what. Okay, we're starting strong. Couple good move skis right off the bat. Into a nice little three-piece combo there. And then he's uh, just about going to tie it up. <laughs> just like that. Which is not ideal. Man, he's blocking all my special moves. I also just realized I'm not using the block button at all. Like, a single bit. And maybe I should. <laughs> Probably keep me from getting caught in a lot of those combos he was hitting me with. He tries his shoulder charge, misses, I do mine, and it lands. Because of course it lands. But nobody was home for my three piece. That was a big fuck up. God damn it. Round two. Fight. <sighs> That's kind of a confidence shaker. You start a round really strong and then uh, you just lose it. <laughs> it really makes you be like, fuck, what am I supposed to do against this guy? Son of a bitch! 
This is just ugly. This is embarrassing. Maybe I should be implying more more just standing in front of him and blocking? Because cheese and the jump kick is certainly not working. He's blocking all of my special moves. My win-loss record is fucking going down the fucking drain. Jesus Christ. He's ugly, man. That seems like a better move, to try to block more and hit him with combos when his don't land. But still, even that's way easier said than done. Look at that, he just sees my shit coming a mile away. He didn't see that coming. He didn't see that coming. He didn't see that three-piece coming! Is that the first time we took a round from him? I can't remember. We gotta keep this shit running, though. Wanna oh brother. You really have to bring out the fucking hammer. That was nice. A little bit of fireball action. A little bit of three-piece action. Alright, alright, alright. We're going to hell in handbasket here. <laughs> Shit, fuck, shit. Get away, get away. Come close. Fuck. Oh, that didn't work at all. That didn't work at all. A little bit of fireball. A little bit of three piece! Not gonna happen! <gasps> oh my goodness, I am so excited. Put that boy away. Limping off in great pain, Rico remarked. If I must finally fa fail in my duty, it is a great irony that I will allow the death of Quan Chi. <laughs> I stumbled on a couple words there, and I really just lost it. I lost the character. It escaped me. Oh, man. This is a long fucking episode, man. <laughs> Conquest mode is... We're, we're getting deep here, son. I don't want to do training. Blaze is too powerful to destroy in this form. Maybe he can be weakened. Perhaps the essences are the key. Do I have to do this? What is happening right now? Oh, I've got to collect these fireballs? Wait, do I have to do this? I don't want to be doing this right now. But I think I have to because it was the green highlighted thing. Which is usually what the checkpoints are. I want to ask you guys right now, have there been games you really enjoy that just have parts in them that you're like, whose idea was this? Who thought that this was a good idea for this game? Because for me, I'm having that thought with this right now. Like, we love to explore the world, we love to get into the third, per third person action RPG fights, we love the Mortal Kombat classic style fights. But this shit here, like the training rooms, especially to make one mandatory, we don't want to do this bullshit. No, I don't want to continue. If that's going to let me skip it, fantastic. Because what was that really going to give me anyway, you know? So we're going to get that. We're gonna go around here. I guess now we have to figure out where we're supposed to go if that was not the answer. We found Raiden's hat. Here we go. Open the fucking thing. Oh shit, now we're gonna go over Raiden. <laughs> Another god. And I was complaining there about like why is Rico so much harder? Maybe doing those trials would have made me better. I don't know that for sure. But I don't know, man. I don't feel like doing that. Join forces. Why should we believe you, Quan Chi? Why should we trust you? I will not join an alliance of traitors. 
Alliance didn't work out for you guys last Shang time, did it? Shao Kahn, Onaga, my comrades. Quan Chi is a socialist confirmed. <laughs> but if we do not stand together, at least initially, it could mean the end of darkness. I stand with no one. I will claim the prize and with it destroy you all. Onaga. Emperor Onaga. Not anymore. <laughs> you haven't been listening to what Quan Chi has told us. The forces of light also seek. See, this is a little fucky because be Onaga done. walked through Raiden, Shang Tsung, and Quan Chi in the opening to deception. Run. And he says, I'll claim the prize and I'll kill you all. Shouldn't he just be able to do that anyway? He already did. I'll take that chance. Hmm. What of the brothers? What can be done about them? I have trapped one of them in Earthrealm. The other is in Edenia. We must go there now. Our allies are waiting. To war! I love Onaga, man. I think Onaga is so cool. And that opening to Deception where he just walks through the combined might of Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, and Raiden blew my balls off. I could not believe it. Do not go through that portal. Raiden, you look different. But I'm glad you're here. I need your help. Shao Kahn and his allies are planning something. It is none of my concern. I don't understand. You always fought against Shao Kahn's forces. Now he's planning another battle and you won't lift a finger? We must not stand idly by. We must stop this- No, Taven. I have struck a deal with the Emperor. Shao Kahn will honor Earthrealm's independence when his forces have won. When he's won? What are you saying? Why would that lunatic spare Earthrealm? Because in return, I will prevent you from completing your quest. Man, there were some pretty cool swerve skis here, weren't there? I don't think anybody ever really got behind Dark Raiden, though. I think everybody wants Raiden to be, like, the protector of the, the forces of light, you know? It's like any time Superman winds up kind of going a little crazy and being a dickhead for a while. People aren't really with it. People don't want Superman to be that. They don't want Batman to be that. They want to be able to depend on him. And I think the only time that... Fuck. Shit ass. I think the only time you can kind of get away with making Superman or Batman a heel is something like Injustice. I'm speaking mostly about the comics, but the games did it pretty well too. Where it's clearly stating like, hey, this is, this is not the Superman you're used to. <laughs> you know, this is something else. Don't worry. He's still your boy in that world. Okay, we need to get our act together here because I'm kind of playing like shit. I'm kind of really playing like shit. And I want to finish this conquest run with a win-loss record I can be proud of, but we're probably... <gasps> oh my goodness, we have another chance. <laughs> I was holding my breath saying we're probably going to add another loss to the record here. But I don't want to. Again, somebody please. If you can go back and keep track of my win-loss record, that would be fucking sick. I mean, I'm a fucking, I'm a stats nerd, and I would just love to know. We don't, shit. I was gonna say, we don't want to let Raiden get off any big combos. And now he's just fucking nailing us. Oh, man. We went tin first into the edge of his staff and just ate another loss. That is so upsetting. That is so very, very upsetting. We're going to skip this cutscene. We're going to Hulk Hogan. We're going to get our win back here. Guaranteed. I blocked a low strike there. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> I don't have the best track record with the block button so far, so 
I'll take that. I'll take a win where it pops up. Why not? Shit on my balls. Fireball. I wanted to go into a three piece. Didn't exactly work out that way. Shit. Oh. Fireball. Jump kick. Jump kick. Three piece. Don't fail me now. It failed me. <laughs> Son of a fucking bitch. I really should learn Taven's combos and start fighting more technically, but. You know, I'm not going to. <laughs> Just want to have some fun with my special moves, goddammit. But Raiden's going into business for himself, making me look bad. I just went a long time without saying anything, but I'm like, I'm trying to focus, I'm sorry. We did not run Chin first into it that time, and he popped right up into our fireball. We gotta make this count. We gotta make this the round where we put Raiden down. Put him down with a fireball. Oh, shoulder thrust into nothing. Big mistake. Hit him with that three-piece. Looking good. Jump kick that bitch ass. Hit him with that down strike. Into nothing, though. Eat a fucking combo like a jabroni. Oh, we're, oh, air combat. Showed up again for a split second. Oh, no! We gave it away! Son of a fucking bitch. <sighs> Guys. The win-loss record is taking a toll on this episode. Round one, fight. Our reputation is going down in flames, man. Hit him with that shoulder block. Hit him with a spin kick. Hit him with a fireball. Hit him with a three-piece. It's looking good here. It's coming together. How about an uppercut for you, Deeds? Shoulder block again. Into a fireball. Missed it, but the three-piece will make up for it. Ha <laughs> Man, jump kick never fails. How about it? Who's gonna shit on a jump kick? Not Raiden. He's gonna take it right in the face. Oh, well, the first one he did. He just sidestepped my fireball like it was nothing. That's just disrespectful. <laughs> it's like Anderson Silva standing right in front of dudes going like, Oh, it hit me. And then you just can't find him. Come on, come on. This is the fight. This is the one where we put him down, we end his reign of terror with a jump kick into a three, oh, nope. Into a three, oh, into a three piece. <laughs> with the soda. Goodbye. God damn. That's the save point right here. So after this cutscene, we are going to draw an end to this episode. I cannot believe that Raiden would side with the enemy. Since this quest began, nothing has made sense. My entire life has been turned upside down. I want to abandon the quest, but if I do, Dagon will win. And he has become far too corrupt to replace Father as protector. At this moment, the forces of darkness are invading Edenia. There must be something I can do to stop them. Man, so we put down all the Shokan. We put down Raiden. We got swerved by Shinnok. This has been a huge episode of Mortal Kombat Monday, Dan Dance. We're heading into the Edenian ruins here. At last, home in Edenia. I appear to be somewhere near the ancient craters of the Southland. My brother, Shao Kahn, and his allies, they are all here somewhere. And they will all die here. Damn, you, Scorpion has arrived. Scorpion. Revenge against me? Against the Elder Gods. They betrayed me. As reward for doing their bidding, they promised to resurrect my clan. They are no longer dead. They are the undead. For this treachery, I will eliminate the Elder Gods' only means of saving the realms from Armageddon. I will destroy both your brother and you. 
Oh shit. We gotta fight a bunch of scorpion jabronis. And Dan Dan's, this is right where we are gonna pick up on the fourth part of the Mortal Kombat Conquest mode playthrough. We made a lot of progress here. This one was damn near two hours. But we are ready to say goodbye. Dan Dan's, this was Mortal Kombat Monday. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Consider heading over to patreon.com slash 616 entertainment to check out what we have in store. See if you want to donate to the channel a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I love you, and I will see you next week. What's up, Dan Dan's? My name is Ian. Welcome to Mortal Kombat Monday. We are here playing Mortal Kombat Armageddon's Conquest mode and what I assume will be the final installment of this series. So I hope you guys have had fun with this along the way, but the last episode <laughs> of Mortal Kombat Monday where I played this, I usually like to go like an hour. I went almost two hours. I think I went like an hour 45. So I don't think there is much left to cover here. There's not a whole lot of meat left on the bone, but either way, we are gonna get through this. We're gonna have an awesome fucking time with Mortal Kombat Armageddon's Conquest mode, and we're gonna see what the future holds. There's a lot of fucking guys here, huh? Let's get them lined up. Hit them with a fireball! Hit them with another fireball. I took out like five guys there. That's one of my favorite things to do. Get them all lined up, nail them with that fireball, and like I said, I've played through the whole Conquest mode here. When this episode is over, I will have covered the entire thing, so I want to encourage you, if you have not yet, Go back and watch those other episodes of Mortal Kombat Monday. We've seen the whole experience now. Just like we just saw Sindel's alternate costume, which we unlocked. Is there any other secret shits over here? I don't want to miss anything. What's this? Got Scorpion's Spear. Why'd the camera pull back like that? I don't trust that. I don't trust like that. There's a big shadow there. How do I do a forward roll? Because I don't, I don't trust this. Okay, R2 and square. Here we go. Hut! Yep, see? I know your bullshit. I see what you're up to. Whoop! Ooh, that one was close. <laughs> That's why I don't trust like that. Here we go. Whoop! Yeah, well. <laughs> you know, you can see it coming from a mile away. That doesn't mean it's going to go well. Please don't tell me I have to fight those boys again. Okay, good. Now we are going to rush through there. Spick and span, clean as always. Here we go. Hoo Super clean. Head back at that cash. One more. Can we do it? Yeah, you. Yep. Not too bad. Okay, so we died one time. Big fucking deal. <laughs> we got more boys. Guess what? See this big cliff over here? Get the fuck out of here. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Go swimming. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I threw that guy so far. <laughs> I threw that guy far as fuck. Get out of here. Edson Barboza, spinning wheel kick. I always shout out Edson Barboza. It's not like he's the only guy that throws spinning wheel kicks. What's up with this guy? You know what I'm saying? Rip his heart out. I haven't done too many of those traditional fatalities. And maybe that's a mistake. Maybe I should have been doing more of them. But it's a little late to uh, be concerned about that now. You know? What we got? We got a little bit of cutscene action here. What's going on? Oh boy. Is this a boss fight? Oh, I don't remember how to do this at all. Let me guess. I have to throw those guys into the skull. That's my guess. Yep. <laughs> at least it wasn't that hard to figure out. Where did the skull go? It looks like it's getting pissed off. Oh, there we go. See, Dan Dan's? I know what's up. Even when I don't really know what's up, I still have a pretty good idea of what's up. <laughs> I know what's up with Mortal Kombat Monday so far, and that's that you guys are really enjoying this series, and let me tell you how happy that makes me. I've tried some pretty, uh, some pretty daring ideas here. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know. If you guys were going to like Clueless Combat, but you've been loving it. Uh, I didn't know if you were going to get tired of me playing through one game mode, like I am here with Armageddon. But you guys seem to be liking it. You guys are showing up in droves when the videos go live. So that makes me very, very happy. You know, it makes me think of... Because I don't know how many of you guys have been around for a long time. Most of you haven't been around that long. 
But I've been on YouTube, I've been running this channel for 12 years. And I always used to think like, man, you know, it would be cool if, if I ever miss a scheduled episode of something that someone out there would say, hey, where's today's episode? You know? <laughs> and when nobody watches your channel, people don't ask, because nobody fucking cares. But now, you guys care about Mortal Kombat Monday. You care about these shows. And that makes me very, very happy. It makes a huge difference to me, so... Son of a fucking bitch. It's not enough to keep me alive. <laughs> if you guys ever wonder, like, hey, I wonder if he actually cares that we watch or if he actually reads our comments. Yes, I do. Every time. And I'm very grateful for it. And I'm very grateful for every single one of you that has signed up on Patreon at patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. If you guys didn't know, I'm giving away a copy of Def Jam Vendetta. Or not Vendetta. Vendetta's great, but I'm giving away a copy of Def Jam Fight for New York, which is a very hard to find and very expensive game these days. And uh, I don't really appreciate how high the prices are, so fuck it, I'm gonna give one away. All you have to do to enter that giveaway is be a member on patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. I'm gonna draw a name at random, and one of you is gonna win that very hard to find, very expensive game. <laughs> I told my one buddy that I was going to do that. I was like, I'm going to give away a copy of Fight for New York. He was like, are you out of your fucking mind? I was like, yeah, probably. But it's a great game, man, and it's hard to come by now, and that's bullshit. I think more people should have access to Def Jam Fight for New York, so we're going to do that. That's what we're going to pull off here. Get out of the way of the fucking falling rocks, Taven, you jabron. Okay, here's the deal. You got to go. I'm having a lot of trouble with my health, at least I did in the last run, because these guys swarm me. So I think the key is to just constantly kill these guys, you know what I mean? But see, this is the problem I'm running into now, is I use my magic to keep a lot of them away from me, and now they're too close for me to really gain any distance in order to do something like that. This is a tricky fight. This fight's tricky dicky, you know what I'm saying? And now there's a lot more skulls, which poses a lot more problems. I just need to blindly press circle and throw and hope that I hit one of the skulls. There we go. We got a couple in a row there that worked out very, very well. Somebody follow me. Here we go. Goodbye. Shit, that didn't work at all. You. Somebody, please. Goodbye. <laughs> That was getting, that was becoming a pretty dire situation there. There we go. We're filling that bar, but I don't know if we're filling it fast enough. Great, we killed that guy. That doesn't help with the skulls. See these gigantic skulls? That's my problem. <laughs> you. Again, with you guys just standing around waiting to die. That doesn't help. Shit, shit, shit ass. You. You. Anybody, come here. <laughs> Now you, your turn. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're back down to one skull, which is good. Two skulls. Fuck, I see two skulls. Listen, you, come here. That didn't work at all. Gotta use some magic. Hopefully, get some fucking health, man. Let's go. I'm about to run directly into the fire. That's smart. Come here. Okay, this is becoming a problem. This is becoming a big problem. <laughs> We're close to finishing this fight. I don't want to do it a third time. Shit. Somebody come here. You're all dead. Throw into the skull. God damn. You, somebody, anybody. Come close enough to die. Okay, good, good, good. We're... This is becoming a major problem. We've had too many close calls, too many scares. Replenishing my health is all well and good, but it doesn't mean shit if I don't get rid of the skull boy. You, that's what you get. You frustrated me. Shit. <laughs> God damn. I wonder if there's like a really great strategy for this fight, but I'm just not doing it right. I guess the ground pound there helped big time. It gave me health, and how can I miss if I just let the AI determine where these fuckers are gonna fly, you know? 
We are gonna roll and steer clear. And then we're gonna do one of these. Shit. The AI did not smile on me that time. Maybe this time? Nope. I got full health though. Full health. We got some magic. We're in a fairly good place. For the love of God, this is this is not going smoothly. I'm quite upset. Come here, guys, come here. How many of you are watching this right now? So frustrated. <laughs> you guys are thinking like, no, you asshole, you do it like this. But that's the thing is I didn't practice. I didn't look up any like proper strategies. I just dove headlong into this fight. I didn't even know this fight was coming. Okay. Oh! Hit, there we go. Finally we took that one out. That was a major thorn in our side. Give me a skull. Whack. Give me a skull that is close enough to hit. Come on, do me a favor. Rip that guy in half for wasting my time. Hit the skull. Well, we got one or two more hits. We can pull this off. This is going to be it. You know what? Maybe this is a blessing in disguise because I was worried that uh, after going almost two hours in the last installment of Conquest Mode, I was like, fuck, is the final episode going to be like ten minutes? <laughs> Did I totally botch this? But no, I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Oh, are you fucking me? I had that one guy in such a prime position, and the throw did not land where I wanted it to. You, go! Got him. Is that it, or is there one more? There's one more. And this is the catalyst. Oh, he ducked just in time! Come here, you. That is going to do it. Finish that boss fight. This guy, the fuck out of here. Hit him with the Steven Seagal. Any secrets over here for me? Any secrets? No? Hey, I don't. I was just about to give up secret hope. What do we got? We got a Nightwolf costume. Looks like shit. What <laughs> we got over here? 2,000 coins. I'll always take cash. You know what I'm saying? What's here? Denia Ruins, I will take that. That's probably where we're going to fight Scorpion in a little bit. Scorpion alternate costume, a.k.a. his deception costume. Which, his alternate costume, I don't love, but I don't hate. You know what I'm saying? Scorpion's uh, deception costume is its just okay for me. And then we unlock Scorpion's lair, so now it's pretty clear that's not where we're, we're not going to fight Scorpion in the Denia Ruins. We found Motaro's horn, but we did not find his other legs. <laughs> I remember back in the day, my created fighter that I made, I think his name was Drago, which is um, very original, right? <laughs> Let's see what these guys have to say real quick. Hold on. I will not let you pass. Prepare to face me in hell. For some reason, I had it in my head that he was going to say, Prepare to face me in hell in a cell. <laughs> and then when I beat him in his own lair, I will say, You're fired! That hurt. That hurt my throat. It was not too long ago that I recorded the third installment of this, so I have not completely forgotten how to play this time. Still remember how to do my three piece in a soda. Get the fuck out of here. Oh shit. Scorpion says it's time for weapons. I say it's time for fireballs, bitch. Oh man. Dude, that backflip kick with the fire feet is one of the coolest moves in Mortal Kombat history. That's my uh, bold and daring opinion. Fuck my asshole twice. That was a pretty good round. I can't be that upset. It was a pretty good round. Fight. What I want to do right now is shout out my buddy Captain McKay. If you are not subscribed to Captain McKay Random here on YouTube, you should be. He is a stop motion animator who has made uh, short films, stop motion style, with the likes of uh, Godzilla, Terminator, 
uh, DC characters like Superman and Batman, Marvel characters like Thor. He has done uh, like a four-part series called X-Men Brotherhood. His full Godzilla movie, Godzilla Aftermath, is viewable right now over on his channel. Captain McKay Random. Uh, I couldn't put him over more. He's been on my podcast like six or seven times at this point. And uh, I might be in a little something that he's working on coming up soon that maybe we will talk a little bit about on a future installment of Mortal Kombat Monday. You know what I mean? Hint, hint as to what kind of thing that I'm collaborating with. And by collaborating, I mean I'm doing like... I'm doing a tiny little feature. He's doing all the work. <laughs> I don't know how to do that shit. He's a fucking whiz, man. He's incredibly talented. I need to shut the fuck up and focus on this fight. Because Scorpion's pushing my shit. Fight. Good. Oh, man. I am, I'm playing like shit. This is bad news bears. You know what I'm saying? Fireball, get the fuck out of here. Shoulder thrust, he saw it coming. Oh, man. He knows where I'm going to be before I do. That's two losses in a row. This is not going well. I asked somebody to keep track of my wins and losses because at one point, it was going very well. And I don't think it's... Uh, I don't think very well is a fair way to put it at, at this juncture, as it were. That was sick, man. Why can't I do something that cool? <laughs> Maybe I could if he stopped kicking my ass. Fuck out of here. Hit him with that shoulder thrust. Am I a whore for special moves? Yeah, maybe. Is that why I'm losing? Because I'm not using a lot of technique? Most likely. Am I going to change my style? Absolutely not. Spinning back elbow into a left hand. Do me a favor, Scorpion. Eat shit. Fight. Start off with the uppercut, because get fucked if you don't. Hit him with that combo, a little uppercut action. How about a shoulder thrust for your deeds? Talking about a three-piece of a soda, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> See, that's what happens. We go from getting our shit pushed to annihilating Scorpion, and all we had to do was just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Well done, Taven. Dagon. I was hoping Scorpion would kill you and spare me the effort, but it looks as though I will have to finish you myself. Blaze! Why did you interfere? The quest has been corrupted. All did not go exactly as my creator had foreseen it. You are in the wrong location. I will transport you to the rim of the crater where the final battle will take place. The quest will conclude when one of you defeats me there in combat. We must make haste. Many warriors are gathering. If I am defeated by one of them, they will steal the prize and the true purpose of the quest will have failed. Armageddon will be upon you all. I want nothing to do with this quest. My business is with Dagon. No choice. We are all bound to the quest. The fate of the realms will be decided today. Then let's get this over with. I have waited an eternity for this moment. When this is over, I am going to finish you. Think of how cool of a team Taven and Dagon could have been if they just could have got along. <laughs> but they can't. Their fucking egos got in the way. How did we... Dagon... You used to be faster than me. That's a little bit rope and Last time we raced through Father's Temple, I believe you won. Seems like only yesterday. Hillary Duff yes, so yesterday. I suppose it was. For you. But I was awakened prematurely. Over the millennia, I've grown much faster, much stronger. This time, my victory is assured. The only thing that is assured is that you will pay for killing mother and father. So you know. Yes, I killed them. I had to. Lord Shinnok warned me that they had decided to assist Fuck you. Fuck Shinnok! You killed them over the prize? With the very weapons father gave us to use against Blaze. And now I will use them to destroy you. Fight! See, this is some bullshit. One, one, fight! 
And he's not even using the sword, so he's a liar and a pious cunt. <laughs> How about a breaker? How about a fireball, you bitch ass? Ah, shit. He just gave me a big boot to the fucking mouch. Damn, okay. Maybe he has gotten faster. That doesn't really make any sense, though. He's like, over the millennia, I've gotten faster. Well, you look way older than me. So shouldn't your body be in worse shape? Shouldn't you be a little more broken down, old fucking man? You know what I mean? Like, look at somebody like Kurt Angle. Badass, right? Olympic gold medalist, legit wrestler. But Kurt Angle 2019 is not the same as Kurt Angle 1996. He's old. He's broken down. He's faced years and years of injuries and surgeries to fucking put his body back together. And I think that's uh, what should have happened to Dagon. This is bullshit. You know what it is? Dagon's on the gas. He's roided up. Dagon's all roided up. I'm full. Oh, man. My balls. That was my fucking balls. I couldn't be playing worse. Why am I recording this? I shouldn't let anybody see this. <laughs> Let's fight a little better this time. How about it? Don't get me, bitch. What? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that didn't work at all. I was like, I'm going to sucker him in. I'm going to rope-a-dope this bitch. Didn't work. Man. He's making me look foolish. There's a little opening. I'll take that. I'll take it where I can get it. You gotta get in where you fit in. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I went to the well too many times with that. Get out of my face! I'm not pleased with how this is going. I envision this being better for me. <laughs> and it doesn't... <gasps> oh, you fucker. I really thought I was going to get him there. But he's a pizza shit and he stole it. Man. <laughs> I should have practiced. <laughs> Fuck. Get a little uppercut action, a little fireball action, close range, into a three piece and a soda. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know how to throw. <laughs> I don't remember how to throw. It's like L1 or some shit. I'm not gonna try it now. Because I have the possibility of taking this round, which we just fucking did. And now we're about to take the fight. We're gonna lead this bald headed bitch ass, non family killing Kratos looking ass, because he's got normal color skin instead of white, like the fucking ash, you know what I'm saying? If you haven't played God of War, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But that's okay. Dude, Taven, let's get it together, man. Oh, man. This is... This is rough. I'm watching this shit fall. Break down around me. That's looking good. That's not. That's really not. Little three-piece action. Let's see if we can keep him away. With some fireballs. He's not liking it. <gasps> My balls! God damn it! We did better. We're gonna find the silver lining. You know what I'm saying? We did better that time than we did the time before. Which means we will undoubtedly do even better this time. I predict a double flawless victory. Taven, well. <laughs> how, do, okay, someone go back and watch frame by frame and tell me how my fucking uppercut missed right there. That was some colossal dog shit. I'm gonna sue. I'm calling the cops. That was some fucky stuff right there, too. I hit him with the three-piece and I came out on the other side. The universe is against me. This much is clear. Very obvious. No denying it. This... No. Woo! I thought that one was falling apart. I really thought that we were about to lose that round and give it away. Remember when I predicted a double flawless victory? Well, we didn't get that first flawless. But this is the one. We're going to get that double or that single flawless. He's not going to... Well... <laughs> I say that... I, I'm cutting that promo knowing that he's going to get me eventually. You know? Ooh! 
that's the first time anyone has ever used a breaker in the middle of my three piece of a soda. And I do not appreciate it. Showing up my fucking finish like that. That's a little something for you. That's a receipt, bitch. Gonna use a breaker on my favorite fucking move. I'm gonna put you away with it. How about that? I think Blaze is about to hook up now. Unfortunate. It was not intended that the brothers combat each other. Dagon has fallen. Now you must fulfill your obligation. Obligation? The quest destroyed my family. Explain to me why I should care. Your mother, my creator, foresaw the coming Armageddon. That through mortal combat, warriors would unknowingly tap into the very forces that make reality possible. Those warriors are in the crater below, engaged in mortal combat. All of them? But with that many fighting in one place... This crater will be the origin of the apocalypse unless something is done to prevent it. The Elder Gods had ordered your father to orchestrate a solution. He decided to kill them all when the time came. Th this is a really cool story, to man. Strip the combatants of their special abilities. For somewhere Even if it doesn't really pan out, like, nothing really in comes of it. Of a contest between you and, your brother. and they kind of just retcon the, the finish, but you know. Like a coin toss, one side would disarm the warriors. The other would destroy them all. Which side of the coin am I? It is unknown even to me. Your armor is the catalyst. The fate of the combatants will be revealed when our battle is done. So by defeating you, I could be killing them all. They are unimportant. Whichever outcome, you will be saving the realms. But you must not let anyone else combat me. Then allow me to win, and we'll put an end to this. He Your wants Blaze to do the job. Must act according to my creator's design. Take your sword, walk through the archway, and finish the quest. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. He's standing right in front of him. He's like, you can't let anyone else fight me. And then he was like, take the sword, let's go somewhere else, and then we'll fight. Come on, we're right here. But he's got to fucking say his prayers and his vitamins and hook up before the fight can really be official, I guess. I know he ain't gonna fight on this balcony. I remember being so pumped at this point when I played this game for the first time like 11 years ago, which that's incredible to say, 11 years ago. And I popped super hard right there when the Pyramid of Argus rose. There's our big boy Blaze. I also don't remember if Blaze is hard to fight. So, we got a little save point here. I'll use this save point to say, I hope... Oh, that's cool. I forgot that they did the arcade ladder. Those aren't the only people we fought across the story of the game, though. We definitely fought more people. We fought Sub-Zero, we fought Noob Saibot. You know, if you're gonna do it, do it right. Anyway. <laughs> Blaze looks so cool. The way that his skin pulsates, and he has orange blood, I know he's like one of- fuck. He's like one of few Mortal Kombat characters that have his own colored blood, which is very, very cool. And I don't remember- like what I was just saying, I don't remember if he's hard to fight. I hope this doesn't take me 16 fucking tries to beat him. Because if it does, I'm gonna have to edit it down. You guys don't want to watch that, right? There we go, that's a little something. Because I know Onaga, you can kind of just stick to, like, glue. Ooh, that was handy. That jump kick into that three-hit combo. Wait a minute, can I just Onaga? Oh, well. <gasps> Fuck, asshole! Okay, I do feel a little confident. First time going up against him, I got him down to, like, 10% health. That makes me feel pretty good. Like, not all hope is lost. I don't know what he was doing there. He's hulking up. I don't appreciate it. I'm not gonna let him get away with it. Ooh, I'm faster than you, bitch! Shit. <laughs> I can't... If I'm gonna close the distance, I gotta stay on him like white on rice. I can't be letting him get to me first. Oh, we got this guy. Piece of cake, man. 
And I don't mind that I'm that I'm going to be able to beat Blaze here relatively easily, because I don't know how many of you guys are old enough to have grown up with uh, like Mortal Kombat 2 and 3, but dude, oh shit, he's turning it up. <laughs> Fuck ass. But fighting Shao Kahn back in the day, man, it was it was near impossible to beat Shao Kahn. It was fucking, it was unbelievable. Oh, we're doing spinning shit now. That's what he says. This is not going well. This could be going a lot better. Fucking motherfucker. I got too full of my own shit. I was like, oh, we're going to walk through this guy. Take two. Yeah, I want to continue. What, you think I don't? <laughs> I don't really like Kentaro's design in this game. I don't think Kentaro has looked good at all outside of Mortal Kombat 2, which is where he definitely looked the best, and Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, he looks pretty good. But they really upped like the feline part of his design in the 3D days outside of uh, Shaolin Monks. And he just kind of looks, I don't know, he looks like he's out from fucking Cats to play, which is, I guess, a movie now, too. I know there was an old movie version of it, but they just remade it for some god fucking reason. And it bombed hard, which is hilarious, because it's like, why do you think anyone wanted to watch that? <laughs> Who's like, oh, I can't wait to buy my tickets to see cats in theaters. <laughs> Fuck out of here with that. Oh, he ducked down right into that big uppercut. That's round one Taven, dog. We're going to keep it going that way. Don't be doing that bullshit. I don't think so. He's got that big right hand. It's like Randy Couture fighting Brock Lesnar. He can hit you from fucking eight feet away. I don't know how many of you guys understand my MMA references, let alone one from 2008. <laughs> See, what we have here is a bad round. That's a bad round. <laughs> round three. Fight! But I mean, let's be fair, Taven has fought, maybe it's just Jump Kick City, you know what I mean? Taven has fought how many fights going into this? Blaze is fresh as a fucking daisy. Taven's fought, like, the entire goddamn roster up to this point. That's not fair. Blaze should have had to go down there and clear out the fucking crater first, even the playing field. Here's what I want to know. Why did Taven's dad make it so hard for fucking shit? <laughs> Why do you make it so hard for Taven and Dagon to get the win? He's like, I must perform as my fucking creator wanted me to. Okay. Why didn't your creator just book you to do the job? <laughs> Here's the deal, guys. This is the one. I can feel it in my balls. This is the one. Round one. And I know I've talked the big game in the past, but this is it. Without a shadow of a doubt. We've got a nice early lead here. We're going to keep a hold of it. That's a nice combo. That's not... <laughs> Hit him with a fucking another combo. Why not? There's, nothing is as effective as just getting next to him and doing square square triangle. Nothing. See, I try to stop for a, some fireball action. It just doesn't work out. Round two. Fight. I go back and forth over whether I think Blaze looks very generic or very cool. And I think, I think he's just cool, man. Him spamming his fucking Rolling Thunder move is not cool, though. That's for damn sure. But he can hulk up like that all he wants, because it leaves him open for me. Oh, no! Okay, so we hit, we had a bad round again. <laughs> it happens. But this is it. This is the one for us. Here's the deal. We coasted in that round. You guys know. You know it's true. We coasted. We look so good that first round, we don't want Blaze to look that bad, you know? So we, uh, we as a group, all of us, you watching and me playing, we decided we're going to give Blaze round two to look strong. 
Because we don't want him to walk away from this looking like a jabroni. That's that's definitely what happened. But now he's going into business for himself. He's taking liberties. <laughs> and I don't appreciate it. Here we go. That... <gasps> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? I am so upset. I'm gonna break my dick off. And I'm never coming back. I'm calling the cops on my own ass. <sighs> I actually did call the cops the other day. I didn't call them on my own ass. I'll tell you the story. I <laughs> was driving my girlfriend home at like 3 in the morning. And uh, we're behind this car that flies past us. So the speed limit's like 40 where we are. This guy was going probably 70. Um, the side of his car was fucked up. He was m basically missing his left back tire and smoke was just billowing out of his car. And I'm thinking like, oh, this guy is fucked up. This guy is annihilated and he's out on the road and he's gonna kill somebody. So I tell my girlfriend to call the police, and I'm going to follow him, and I'm going to give him his fucking plate, and uh, hopefully this guy's going to get arrested, because you can kill people that way. I know people who have died due to drunk drivers, and I don't fucking appreciate that. You know what I mean? So I was like, I'm going to take it out myself to get... Can you just fucking... Oh, I see! I didn't know that his whole cup gives him health back. Son of a fucking bitch. Anyway, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to take it upon myself to get this guy off the road. And so I call the cops and I'm describing the situation to them. And as I'm following him, I'm thinking like, okay, let's say he was at some bar or whatever and he left. He didn't get in his car and it was this fucked up, you know, that he would have, he wouldn't have driven while he was sober if that was the case. So that means he got in his car, fucked up. Damaged his car by hitting someone or something and now is just fleeing down the fucking road. So, um, I don't really know how the story ended. I couldn't follow him all fucking night, you know what I mean? But, um, I hope that he got put away because that is a classless, piece of shit, dangerous thing to do. And if you drive drunk, go fuck yourself, lose my number, and break your dick off. <laughs> I told a story of a good deed, and I'm hoping that the universe smiles on me now and blesses me with a victory over Blaze in Mortal Kombat. Shit in my balls. Okay. The universe is telling me to go fuck myself. They don't appreciate my good deeds. And this here is a lesson to everybody that you should never do anything altruistic or good because um, it's not going to work out for you. Nobody gives a fuck what you do, where you come from. <laughs> <laughs> what a horrible message to send. <sighs> Man. I can, I imagine how many of you are just closing this video every time I lose. I guarantee the audience retention on this episode is going to be fucking dog shit. <laughs> you guys are just listening to me fucking babble. Round one, fight. While I continue to fight like a fucking Nimrod. Why did I try to throw a fireball there? I've established that they don't really do anything to him. Look at him. Why would a fireball do anything? These jump kicks are doing something though, let me tell you. A little bit of uppercut action. Hit him with a little combo there, jump over him. Hit him with another uppercut, why not? He's got to quit hulking up like that. I don't have a hulk up move. He's the boss. What does he need to fucking get health back for? This whole this whole thing is bullshit. It's rigged. It's a political fucking game. It's a trap. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to hold me down. Because <laughs> they know I'm the rightful champion of Mortal Kombat. Can I sound any more like a fucking idiot? <laughs> I'm standing right next to him. I throw a fireball like a fucking nincompoop. That is gonna do it. Uppercut right to his stupid fucking orange drippy chin. Get out of here, pumpkin ass bitch. <laughs> stupid jack o' lantern head bouncing all around. Let's see that cutscene, dog. 
congratulations. You unlocked a guy you'll never want to play as again. <laughs> I wonder what Taven's fatality is. Oh, it's the same as everyone else's in this game. <laughs> I don't mean to be so cynical. I'm just trying to be funny. Come on here. Wrap it up. Show me the cutscene. Do I have to press a button? I don't want to press it and accidentally skip anything. Okay, they wanted me to press it. This should have been more clear. Like, I'm going to be clear and say go to patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. Oh, this horrible asshole ending. My world has been ripped to pieces. I awoke in a foreign realm, forced to complete a quest set forth by my parents, Argus and Delia. This quest, though intended to save the realms, has destroyed my family. My brother Dagon became obsessed with winning the ultimate prize of full godhood and murdered our parents. And in his madness, he sought to destroy me as well. Orin and Karo, dragons loyal to our family for ages, were not spared from the curse this quest has wrought. Dagon enslaved Karo to serve his own ends. The sorcerer Quan Chi killed Orin, who was my guardian. Though I had nothing left, I was determined to complete the quest. I faced many combatants, fighting my way to the top of the pyramid until at last I alone defeated Blaze in mortal combat. The energy released by his death passed through me, granting me full godhood. The excess power then filtered through my armor and passed into the other combatants. Though this energy was to have one of two effects on them, death or annulment of their powers, a third, unforeseen outcome resulted. The quest did nothing to resolve the instability of the realms. But as protector of Adenia, I vow to stave off Armageddon until a solution can be found. I remember being so upset by that. It's like, man, everyone is gonna die or everyone's gonna have their powers stripped away and it's like a fresh start and then you play through this whole thing and it's like actually it's neither one of those guess what happened nothing happened i was so fucking upset by that but then mortal kombat 9 starts and we find out that taven didn't fucking win you know what i mean shao khan won and raiden sent some bullshit back in time to start things over and you know what we just stumbled upon right there we stumbled upon that the next full playthrough is going to be the Mortal Kombat 9 story mode here on Mortal Kombat Monday. Guess when I decided that? Just fucking now. You know what I mean? I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in for Mortal Kombat Monday, and I hope you enjoyed this journey across the conquest mode of Mortal Kombat Armageddon. We will revisit Armageddon for some uh, motor combat and all that other cool bullshit. We're going to have some fun with it, but this is conquest beginning to end. I love you, and I'll see you next week.